gross to say. You but haven't thought about you, anything gross to say so today. Hello to say. and welcome. It is Sunday. It is Some Other Heroes Day. Happy Pride, everybody. Um, Yay! It's June. It's, Happy it's Pride, time of years. Um, how are we all doing? Are you all refreshed and enjoying the beginning of the summer months? Because it's really lovely and warm here today. Um, we are Some Other Heroes. We are gay geeks, queer dungeoneers, all round nice eggs, we hope. Uh, and we are here to ent entertain you with a game of Dungeons and Dragons set in a homebrew world of skyships, uh, floating islands, deep magic and strange mysteries. My name is Chris. I use he, him. I have the absolute honour and joy of being the storyteller and DM for this particular stream. With me are three wonderful people who I love doing this with. And today we're going to start with Wayne. Well, I'm typing. Don't distract me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, I am Wayne. My pronouns are he, him. And I shall be playing the Dragonborn Rock, who is still trying to figure out whether he's supposed to use a sword or his tongue to cut people to death. Why not both? <laughs> uh, Theo, would you like to go next, please? Yeah, hello. I am Theo. I use they, them pronouns, and I will be playing the uh, somewhat awkward uh, half-elf wizard, Eugene. Uh, amazing. And last but definitely not least, Charlie. Hello, I'm Charlie. I use she, her pronouns, and I am playing my adorable chaotic lovely uh fluffy um satyr saw warlock Sawlock, yes. with the world's most disturbing mage hand with the yes, world's single most disturbing way it is beyond belief <laughs> i love it it's a friendly little chicken foot it's fine it said no one ever, no one ever yeah. <laughs> the beef oh dear uh, before we start, we have some thank yous. Uh, first off, uh, a huge thank you to um, both Hedge and Nikki, um, who just subscribed again for another month. Thank you so much. It really does mean a Babes. lot. Uh, you helped me keep the lights on behind the scenes. It's really cool. Um, big thank you again to Nikki and to Feline Trickster, Michelle, who are our mods. If you see Bespectacled Man in there or Feline Trickster, they are there to just keep you safe and just keep out the bots and uh, the the racists and the homophobes and all those nasty people that somehow managed to still be no around. Tests, no Tories, especially yeah. for the Somehow still yeah. managed to be a thing despite, you know, two million years of evolution. Um, yeah, you'd think they would have sort of sludged out of the gene pool then, you know. skip them ah uh, dear uh they are lovely people but they carry big hammers um we would also like to shout out our friends dice and a slice if you like cake and if you like dungeons and dragons and why wouldn't you like those things you can have them together with this fantastic podcast uh set with maritime adventures with Terrible pirates, but were absolutely amazing adventurers uh, on a world of uh, imprisoned gods and lots and lots of strange curses going around at the moment. Uh, they release an episode every other week. Uh, so last week was the, the most recent one. Uh, give it a listen. Really good. Lovely people. Uh, we adore them um, and we think you will too. Uh, our second... Uh, group that we'd like to shout out is our friends at Wicked Game. Unfortunately, you're a little late. You can catch up with the Divisia Census uh, on their YouTube now, but they have finished their most recent campaign and are taking a small break as they ramp up for the absolutely phenomenal Wicked Week in the first week of July. Uh, they're still streaming. Uh, they're going to play some random games, have some fun and just chill out and catch up and have a chat about some of the things that have happened over their last 50 episodes, including the special uh, with our very own Theo Blue. Um, and uh, yeah, it's me. That is you. <laughs> it is you. Yes, Wait. well done. Oh. Um, so, yeah, please check out their stuff. They're really, really lovely people. 
uh, we adore them to pieces. Uh, and then as Rooney quite rightly points out, only 31 days until their next campaign, <laughs> which uh, I'm sure Nikki is really happy about finding out on a daily so, basis. <laughs> so you have a, a, a whole month to catch up on the end of the busiest census, census which was quite yeah. phenomenal, um, and, no, and, and to get to know them before the next one. Exactly. Okay. Um, speaking of Wicked Week, we and Dyson the Slice will be joining the wonderful people to give them a day off during the charity week. Uh, we are running a 12 hour introductory adventure. I am running it. And with me will be the amazing Theo, the wonderful Wayne, the fantastic Josh and the beautiful Alicia from Dyson the Slice uh, as well. And some guests of whom we're not telling you right now. <laughs> you have to tune in to find out. Um, but yes, we're very much looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be really good fun. It's set in Waterdeep, so it's a familiar setting for a lot of people. But uh, it's going to be a bit different. So you'll, you'll have to tune in to find out a little bit more. But keep an eye on Wicked Game Socials because uh, they will release more information as they get closer to the actual event itself. And there's a lot of stuff happening. A lot of so. stuff happening. Lots of amazing stuff. Uh, lots and of for an amazing stuff. charity. Yeah, it is for an absolutely phenomenal charity. And I think what I will do, I'm not going to hold him to it, but I might ask Nikki to pop on uh, or do us a little video just like explaining what's going on so that we can play it for everybody um, over the next month. But I'll I'll talk to him separately about that. Sorry to dump you in it, Nikki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not that you're busy Private. or anything. If you're uh, free to say no, Nikki, it's yeah, not yeah. like we've told everyone. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> but if he's okay, I will check with him and uh, we'll get that sorted. Um, Wayne, you have a little yeah. something today. Uh, yes, I, um, as we mentioned at the beginning of the stream, it is, of course, Pride Month. Um, so happy Pride Month to uh, everybody, um, especially our amazing queer community of which we are all part and we all support. Um, and we just wanted to say that um, our, our rallying cry for this Pride is uh, take action now. Um, and we would just like to say that we love you all, we love our supporters, but that at this particular point in time, the queer community worldwide is under so much threat. Um, and we really want to call on people to take action in whatever way you can, whether it's donating to a charity or supporting an event or however you can do so. And even if it's just taking the time to find out about the issues that are facing the queer community from the community members themselves, rather than from headlines and organizations that are just trying to profit off all of it and all of the conflict. Um, so that is our call. Also, please have a look in the uh, interval. We have a new video where we are shouting out this week um, all the organizations that we've put together that are all focused on actually helping and working within the queer community. Um, so please don't just buy rainbow merchandise, really support the organizations that actually are doing the work to help people and are saving lives every day. So please have a look at the video in the interval because it's very important to us. Um, and I would really ask for you to just have a look at that and do what you can, um, but take action. Yeah. And, and that's it. I get off my soapbox now awesome. and I'm shorter. We get the soapbox for a whole month. And <laughs> it's our soapbox now. We have a whole uh, 30 days. <laughs> um, yeah, and on then that, we must shut up again. All that note, Drew, also keep an eye on our socials as well, because uh, throughout the whole month, we're going to be shouting out queer creatives uh, from all corners of the uh, the internet. Uh, just kind of from all that, corners of the flat earth. Wait, <laughs> um, everybody, with? everybody that you can possibly imagine, from gay authors uh, through to uh, like trans activists and uh, and beyond, just wonderful, wonderful people that we can. And if you know somebody and you would like to ask us to shout them out, please drop us a, ma a message on either Instagram or Twitter. Uh, our DM should be open on both. Uh, just let us know, and uh, we are happy to highlight. It doesn't matter how big, how small, uh, as you know, anything that they're creating, we would just like to let people know about it. Because we will forget people if we try and remember them all. So please feel free to put your hand up and say, hey, I'd like a shout out, or this friend of mine um, would like a shout out. That would be really valuable to us. Yes. Thank you. Really, really cool. And we want to get through. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Have a nice day. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
that's it. That's the stream. That's the stream. Yep. That's it. We go. Right. Oh, well, I oh, guess we're done. We my mind's done. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I guess with that all said, we should probably dive into today's episode. Yeah. Here we go. back on our last episode of some other heroes our three friends have struck out on their next adventure traveling to the white temple or the alabaster temple depending on to which entity you talk to looking into finding out some information about the puzzle box that ashling found that started this whole rigmarole for her uh, and maybe some more information about the Sky Temples and its link to Alabaster, the strange demon locked in Ashling's head. They arrived at the White Temple to find that the group of adventurers who had been hired to keep an eye on it were missing. Exploring the outer regions of the temple, they quickly came across the petrified form of one of the young adventurers. Uh, the young man in particular, who has a ongoing friendship with Rock, uh, Mardik Smith. Going further in, they found the bodies are the, in the same state, completely petrified. Two of the other members of this adventuring party, one of them being missing. Delving even deeper, they encountered a strange entity using pocket to kind of spy on what it was uh, they discovered there were multiple creatures of undead origins unbeached inside the temple pocket was got by one of these entities Boo. pop went yeah. the pocket um, ah. so rock bravely volunteered to move forward um, and managed to figure out via description and that these creatures are something called a windy whaler an undead entity born from the regretful lost soul of a seafaring captain or uh in these days an airship captain who did not return home and wishes other people to suffer their fate spells were cast preparations made they used their free act as uh, their free round to cast spells, including Vicious Mockery, which didn't take. Um, intellect Theo cast a helpful spell. Charlie cast a helpful spell. Wayne insulted them. <laughs> From the safety of the corridor. From the safety of yes, the corridor. I just yeah. yelled, as Theo said, I just yelled from the corridor, you suck! And that was it. Uh, amazing. The weapons drawn, intent, had. Ashning and Rock have entered the room with these strange creatures and all I have to say now is roll for initiative <laughs> yeah. did Ashling and I walk in like that uh, I I don't know I did tell you <laughs> no. that you you did figure out that you could uh, avoid their gaze uh, it would yeah. probably help you out here we go. So, and then I cast fairy fire on one you or two. Do. You did. See that purple glowing square there? Oh wait, I've got to get that up. Uh, yes. That is your fairy fire. So that's how you managed to hit two of them. Uh, oh shit! Just. Just managed to hit two of them, uh, but not the that other is gorgeous. two. gorgeous, and that square is so pretty. 
Uh, this is eightfold mat, uh, eightfold paper again, which is really really cool. Wow, how'd yeah. you do such a pretty glowy glare? I bought it. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I went See, looking for it and bought it. Your subscriber money does, folks. We get glowy squares. God damn it! No expense See. spared on this. It's See, twelve months. Get... We need glowy squares. Because <laughs> normally he can say, Wayne, I need a glowy square, but he can't do it if it's something that's going to face us in battle, because then I cheat. Ah, uh, uh, dear. Right, so... It's not store-bought, Rooney, it's ant-crafted. It is yeah, bought from a wonderful creator. Fed. Artisan. <laughs> Artisan. 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 Uh, right, so, let's get some initiative going, shall we? I'm sure you're all highly delighted by that. Um, Chris, quick, quick clarification, are the two small ones the ghouls? The two small ones are the ghouls. Ooh. Would you okay, like... Okay. Actually, I, I, I'm I, not going to ask you. I'm going to show you guys so you can see. Uh, hey, where's that on this now? All right, there are. So, let me just show to the players. Should pop up any second. He says. Could be. Could be. Did it work? It no. Any day now. Today. <laughs> Hang on. Technology is not doing good things for us today. No, it's oh, really not helping us, is it? it? Oh, she sent us. Hang on. This is your oh, it's a message. No. Chris is an issue. Show to there. everyone. There we go. Oh, got it. Okay. Uh... Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> they look friendly. <laughs> They're laughing at least. <laughs> nice. Oh, and Very and dangerous mask. And, and while I'm not going to read the whole thing, it's great that the description starts with spirits of violence as one of their abilities. That sounds oh, good. Super fun. cool. Mm -mm -mm. Fun. Cool. Right. And oh, that is the ghouls. It's not a ghoul. That's a very cold monkey. <laughs> Again, I'm going to do a shout back to Evolution because some people in chat got that last time. But this is a blue monkey. It's a blue monkey situation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh boy. You. <laughs> that is so wonderfully niche. It's untrue. It's a narrow cast, but people get it. <laughs> Uh, right, so, um, <clears throat> and one of them got nine. This is all the fun bit, and ooh, these guys are speedy. Okay, okay. all right, I want good to know. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's start with Ashling. I got 21. <gasps> nice. 21, nice. I know. Uh, Rock. Uh, I got 18. 18. What's your dex base? 14. Plus 2. Plus 2. Okay, excellent. And Eugene. 12. 12. Ashling, you are up first, followed by a ghoul, then rock, then a windy, then Eugene. Sorry, windy, okay. then a ghoul. Okay, cool. Ashley. Ashling, a windy, a ghoul, a rock, a windy, a Eugene, and a ghoul. It's a banger. It's the party list you didn't know you needed. The worst rap <laughs> I've ever heard. Or ever thought of. <laughs> Uh, amazing. How is the music for everybody? Can I at home? Is it all right? It's heckin' windy. It is it's indeed. It's heckin' windy. It's, it's good. It's okay. It's all good. Okie dokie. Right. I didn't need that one. Yeah, we didn't need to see that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's it basically it's now catching up on the, the previous times now. <laughs> Okay. Chris torturing us. Yeah. Ashling. 
What you got for us? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm gonna uh do that cheeky thing that I did last time where I turn a spell into a bonus action so I can Nice quick and spell cast... Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cast uh my old faithful faithful armor on myself. Cool. Armor of Agathis. Awesome. And then and turn that into a bonus action. Awesome. What I will say is because you, you can do that all on yourself without looking at the moons, um, you don't need Good. to do anything to protect yourself this turn. Okay. Um, and then with my action action, because I can see the little fuckos next to the square, right? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah. Uh, hang on, let me just... Let's make that very clear so you guys know when you're entering Oof. so when you are in that uh, okay. you will need to roll something at the beginning of your go yeah. All right. uh, okay, good. Uh, just a reminder for everyone I cast intellect fortress so if you have to roll a uh, intelligence, wisdom, or something else saving throw, um, you get advantage. Amazing. Okay. Check. Thank you. Intelligence, um, wisdom, or charisma saving throws. Intelligence, wisdom, or charisma. Yeah. Alright, cool. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, with my action action because I turned the armor into a bonus action. I will a blast the school on the left. A blast the ghoul on the left. I'm, I'm a blast it. No. The power of Jesus, I'm a blast it. You have south now. Have advantage on that particular attack as well because they got hit by your fairy fire. Fairy fire. Okay. Treat myself. Uh <laughs> it's twenty seven to hit. Uh twenty seven <laughs> will definitely hit. Oh yeah. Okay. Um that is ten damage on the first one. Uh amazing. Do I roll with advantage on both? All your attacks against that. You love to see it. Uh, 22 to hit. 22 to hit will also hit. Good. Ooh, that's 13 damage. No, yes, 13 damage on that one. Uh, so amazing. 23 damage total. Love it. And I think Ooh. I'm just gonna s just move here a little bit for no reason other than aesthetics. Well, we've got a pair of tanks now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit>. Thank God. <laughs> Eugene will not be moving. Uh, I'm good out here. Amazing. Yeah, Eugene's good out here. Eugene's good at getting out of trouble, which is very handy. Rock rushes in, Eugene's good out here. <laughs> Rock rushes in, Eugene escapes. There. Yeah, that as well. Uh, cool. So, uh, this one will... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, oh. 60. Sorry. Beg your pardon. Zooms across the room at you, shrieking at the top of it. I. Uh, and. Uh, it. The rock yells out, you cannot move that many squares! Where's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will make, as you can just fill the air in the room, uh, kind of explode outwards. Uh, I would like all of you to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Dex. It's not a magical thing, is it? It is not. It is a natural effect for this magical creature. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. okay. No, that's all right. Oh, it's very interesting. Uh, so, what did we get? Are you counting your damage before it's hatched? I... maybe. 
<laughs> Rude. Uh, Ashling. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Awesome. Rock. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. And Eugene. So I got a six. Six. Okie dokie. Uh, so I don't think I passed that one. Eugene takes twenty-one points of cold damage. Cool, Yo. Cool, 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 cool. And it's strange. The very fabric of what this creature does to you, the shriek and that damage, inflicts fear on you. You are frightened oh, no. of this creature. Uh Rock and Ashling. It's like I will be staying here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, good point. <laughs> Certainly won't be getting any closer. Um, take, take ten cold damage, but are not frightened. I have cold resistance because of my boots. Oh, so do I because of my sword. Take half again to that, so five. Love it. I do. I do not. Yuji's like, well, <laughs> screw you guys. Can I lob you a boot, and then we can have half of the shit. <laughs> oh, that hit me in the back of the head. <laughs> Which is really I weird because you're standing in front of me. <laughs> yeah, I boot it's very windy my in here. Fantasy ugg boot into the back of your head. I love the idea of Eugene that actually <laughs> wandering around the, the battleground like that. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, no, we're doing like a so three-legged you know race situation. <laughs> uh, that is the end of its go, and you're probably very glad for that. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. The ghoul on the right is going to charge up, like, sh like kind of... <laughs> and charge right at rock. Yeah. Uh, and will make two attacks. It's going to try and bite you and claw at you. What beastly thing? What's the effect that's active on the ghoul right now? Uh, that is fairy fire. Oh, okay. Uh, radiation seems like the closest thing I could think of. <laughs> it makes you glow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that is a 22 to hit on the bite. Yes. And an eight on the claw. No. Uh, so it you just take uh, you take five piercing damage and eight cold damage, which of course halved, so four for you. So what five and four? It's a nine in total. Oh, no, that's five and four, way, not 54. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you're counting well, correctly. Numerical dyslexia kicking in there. Uh, I would also like you to make a constitution saving throw for me. Oh, but I don't really want to. Well done. You've done so many different saves. 14. None of them are the ones that Theo has given yeah. us advantage on. Uh, saving throw, yeah, sorry. Saving throw, uh, constitution. Yeah, 14. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. Nothing happens. Why? What would have happened, Chris? Can't tell you. You did nothing happened. <laughs> but you can respond because it is now your go. I shall. Uh, the first thing I should do is just go, oh my god, would you stop slobbering on me? <laughs> yeah. um, um, okay, and I am going to... I am going to, uh, as my bonus action, as my bonus action, I'm going to bardically inspire uh, Eugene. Mm -hmm. And then for my attack, I am going to, I'm, I'm just going to, Yeah, I'll take the Fang of Navara and I will just literally unsheath it and swing it straight down into this thing. Go for it. Yeah, that's a 29 to hit. 29 will definitely hit. Uh, awesome. So you know, you remember, mm -hmm. Eugene has already assessed that all these creatures are undead. Indeed, yes. And actively told you all, so... 
Get right. Um, in which case, I will use. Can I use? Can I still use my? Um... Oh my god, my thing that I can add to my hit. Your bonus on your sword. Yeah, I think it's yeah. my my error. I intended <laughs> it basically to things that are not natural. So yes, that would include yeah. undead. Okay. Fey, fiends, cool. celestials, aberrations, and undead. Okay. Um, and that is. Yeah, so that's actually one D8. So this will be seven plus six. So 13 damage plus two radiant. Two radiant. So uh, 15 in total. Uh, that is a nice solid hit. It seems to um, you see the ice on its back is cracking off where you hit it with this quite solid strike. And I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay where I am, actually. Uh, amazing, cool. Uh, so your bonus action, action to attack. Uh, it is the second... Uh, windy whalers go they are going to move down here so their light completely covers the um, fairy fire now uh, and they open their mouth and these slit teeth kind of push outwards uh, and there's this vacuous like glow inside the wind around uh, Eugene starts to build up uh, that is a 22 to hit. Uh, yes. Uh, it gets very, very cold where you are, suddenly. And you take... Da, 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 16 points of cold damage. Um... And I would like you to make a strength saving throw, please. Uh, that's at disadvantage because I'm frightened, right? Uh, you're not frightened of that one, you're frightened of the other one. Oh, okay, I thought it was on all the other Uh... So did you say strength? Yes, please. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, you save, but you do feel buffeted as this thing is almost going to push you off your feet. Um, and that will then make it Eugene's turn to retaliate. Mm, good. Um. <laughs> I did make a mistake this round, but I'll pick it up on the next round, so that's my fault. I should have you, made you rolling things. That's fine. <laughs> All good. Uh, uh, I think Eugene will. There's not a lot I can do. I'm going to cast Blink. Cool. Mm. Good idea. And. But I'm still there for now. Uh, amazing. <laughs> and I'm going to just for now move here. Cool. And you <laughs> can also remake your... It says dexterity saving throw, but I'm going to say that... I'm going to change that because that doesn't make sense to me. Now you're frightened. Uh, I'm going to let's say you can make your wisdom saving throw to regain okay. your senses. Don't forget you got a bardic inspiration. And I'm rolling this at advantage, right, because of intellect fortress. You are, yes, because that's still up. Oh, hang on. Is blink concentration? But... No, ah. it's not. Cool. I always think it should be, but it's not. Go with what they're gone with. I'm, I'm happy for yeah. that. Oh my god. Everyone. I rolled a 19 <gasps> on wisdom save, which hey, is what? 25 total. Oh my god, that's the first time in 50 episodes. Wow. Holy shit. 
Wow. That's this nuts. is unheard of, everyone. I usually roll oh, I think you below should reward seven. Them for <laughs> making things die. Maybe the curse is broken. I just love people's faces when Theo goes. <laughs> no, Eugene actually has like proficiency. In wisdom. People are like, what? Yeah, I have a I have a plus six to my wisdom saves. Yeah, good lord. Oh so god. you are no longer frightened, and can act normally at the beginning of your next go. Uh, that the other the other roll was a six. That is fine. <laughs> It counts. It still counts. Uh, meanwhile, uh, have you got anything else you want to do with your turn at all? I cannot do okay. anything else. Cool. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This thing is going to get up in Ashling's face. It's going ah. to try and claw you and bite you. Okay, okay, okay. So, two claw attack is uh, 19 to hit. Um, sorry, bite attack is 19 to hit, and claw attack is uh, 16 to hit. Um, six, yeah, meets his beats. Yeah, meets his beats, hit. okay. Uh, so you take uh, four piercing mm. and uh, five cold halved down to two for you, for you from the first one. Oh. Uh, and I'd like you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Oh, Chris, I've just realised I should have made a concentration check. Oh, my God. Hit. Uh, do you want to do it now? Oop. Oh, but we... <laughs> the claw damage is a grand total of five slashing damage. No. Cool. What did your constitution saving throw, please? I, I, I saved. You saved. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my con save was 11. 11. Okay. Don't, don't like that. Uh... Don't like that at all. Um, we're, because it's hit me and I've got my armor active, there, there will be cold damage, but do they take cold damage? Tell me what cold damage you, you release. 20. 20. This explosion of ice into this ghoul and you see all the cracks and damage that it's had reforming oh for fuck's sake right uh, so it doesn't take any damage from that it is immune to the cold it doesn't actively heal though, no. right no. Okay. Just, oh, just whatever. it's just like it's kind of gonna, like this this kind of comfortable layer of extra oh. frost over it which it seems to quite like I was going to frantically look up how to disable armor on yourself. <laughs> well, if you have a spell that you are holding and you want to let go of it, you just let go of it on your turn. Um, go, 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 but I don't need to. So. Uh, cool. Um, I will, however, use my reaction to that and hellishly rebuke it because fuck it. And that's fire damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was trying to wait and good, right? see what would happen when it hit yeah. me. Go um, for it. Yeah. I'll cast that at fucking fourth level because I hate it. <laughs> so it needs to do a save, I think. Yeah, deck saving throw. Uh, dexterity saving. Ooh. Ten? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. doesn't. No. Uh, okay, I'm going to roll this on the DD on because it's a lot of dice, which is very nice. Oh, okay. 19. 19. 19. Uh, fire amazing. damage. 19 fire damage. It counts. All right, cool. That is awesome. Uh, I will, however... Oh, that's not the right one. Uh, da, 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 32. Uh, I will, however, I need both Rock and Ashling to make a quick constitution saving throw as you melt away the icy outer layer of this creature there is a stench that fills the air that kind of gets into both of your nose um uh. it rocks just like that oh my god ashley first you heal it and now this <laughs> 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 
It can't oh. smell any worse than the bag of holding, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, I've chucked the cheesy the bag of holding. in there, it's fine. <laughs> and it's shaped like a little <laughs> pine tree. Yes. Has, has, has Eugene bought a cheese badge for Ashling's bag of holding so that he doesn't pick up the wrong one yet? Yeah. If you have a look at the new artwork, the bag is now covered in badges. <laughs> so, it's very yeah, obvious, probably. yeah. Good, so we know. And um, what are we rolling, Chris? Constitution save. That's good. Okay, 16. Uh, bag of 16, yeah. And Eugene? Oh, sorry, sorry, Ashton. Four. Uh, you are poisoned at, until the poisoned beginning of its Poisoned by Stinky. Yeah. You are, you're... Poisoned by Stinky? <laughs> <laughs> Both of you were a bit like, oh, that's horrible. Was real. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's one of those things, Rock is like, oh, that's awful. Whereas Ashley's like, oh. <laughs> so, Rock wait, is like, does... oh, Ashley, it's something dramatic. <laughs> what does poison, poison by my asthma do? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, poison gives you disadvantage. Cool. I'll tell you what it does. Oh, it ruins your day. That's what it does. <laughs> uh, poison. Da, 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 da. That's not the right thing, Chris. Uh, if you click poison on your status effects, it should do that for you. But in the meantime. <laughs> I don't really want to. <laughs> There we go, poisoned. Uh... Disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. So nothing important then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh boy. Cool, so that's uh, for now. Right. Uh, it is now Ash... Uh, so that is now Ashling's go. Okay. Ugh. Right. Um... Slightly heaving from this horrible stench. Yeah, it's like... Uh, uh, mm, bleh. Uh, I'm gonna... It's right up in my grill. Okay. What am I looking for? Sorry, folks. No, you're fine. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, right. Rock, you are um, up after a couple of them. I'm gonna use my bonus to wake my sword up and make it shatter off into the pretty little bits of glass. Uh, amazing. Are you taking, are you going for defensive or offensive? I'm doing defensive. Defensive, it's cool. Gonna, Give them if I have disadvantage on attack rolls, then they do. <laughs> <laughs> so you so, draw out your pretty glass blade and it shatters into thousands of little butterflies that all get up in this um, Ghoul's face just kind of distracting as it's trying to swat at them. Flipping them off as they go. <laughs> and because I'm fucking right next to him, right up in my grill, I'm going to use Burning Hands, which is the first level. First level Burning Hands, yeah? Yeah. Uh, do you want to angle it so you can hit one of the others? Because hasn't it got a range, Burning Hands? Yeah, yeah it should be 15 feet. 15 feet cone. 15 feet cone. So you can either aim, turn turn to the side and angle and hit uh, this dude here, or, so you, sort of or you can hit shimmy. this dude. Oh, wait, isn't there like a pillar thing here? I couldn't really move there, could I? We, we can argue you can stand around the corner. It's big enough space that you can lean against it. And... I can just kind of move my hands around like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll shimmy over here then, and yeah, I'll try and hit these two ghoulish fools. Awesome. Is that a save from me? Um, each creature 50 foot cone makes a deck saving throw. Uh, amazing. The one closest to you does not do great. The one furthest away slightly better. So, uh, the one closest to you I definitely don't think is going to make it with a, with a six. The one at a 13 no. I'm being hopeful, but I don't think it's going to happen. 13 now. Yeah. Uh, so they both uh, take full okay. damage. Cool. So that's 3d6. Awesome. And okay. it's fire damage, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Rock, can you okay. make another constitution saving throw for me, please? That was 11 damage total. 11 damage total to both of them. Awesome. Yeah. One of them is uh, starting to look very uh, ropey. 
Good. Is it the one next to me? Yeah. I headbutt it. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, what did you get, Wayne? 17. 17, yeah, so you saved again. It's, again, that smell comes off of these two creatures at oh, the same time. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm heating it up now. <laughs> no, no this is horrible. Smell, it's not <laughs> I mean, not to get too, too descriptive, basically it's the smell of flesh hitting the sun after it's been under ice for ages. Oh, no, I really didn't need to know that. <laughs> I feel like I need to make a constitution save. Yeah, no. yeah, Theo needs to make one. <laughs> they are nat. Ghouls are not nice creatures by by any stretch of the imagination. And these ones are nasty. Charlie Day most. convinced me they weren't that bad. Really? Well, he's wrong. Lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. So uh, that was your action. Your bonus action was using your blade. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, do you want? I'm just gonna stick where I am. Awesome. Good. I should have made you do this at the beginning. Uh... Oh yeah, because I'm in the fucking force field of moon chops. Yeah. <laughs> Which is all D and D technical. Yeah, yeah that one. Oh no, because I don't think I think you wouldn't be looking. You'd be actively trying not to look at the whaler. Uh, okay. So I think that's yeah. fine uh, in this instance. Is the whaler like hovering above this? Thing that it's yeah, it's on. it's uh, like got this big glowing orb of light around it, so you you know where not to look. Okay. Um, so I think yeah, you're I'm kind of yeah. I'm I'm gonna uh, fire. Cause also, because you didn't attack, you didn't need to actively look at something. So that's true. Um, cool. But it is that windy whaler's go, uh, and it's going to look down at this strange little fey creature that is causing its friend's grief uh, and it opens its mouth Hi. in that same way it's ghoul friend it's <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. Yep, doesn't get Very its back. so I it burst of air comes out uh, 17 to hit yeah it's Okay, so you take uh, eight, 13 points of cold damage, uh, and I need to make a half uh, six. six, yeah, as you round okay. down, and I need you yep. to make a strength saving throw for me, please. Thank you. Okay, 15. 15. Oh, wait. wait, I have disadvantage. Shit, because I'm poisoned. Wait, does that count on You're saves? Poisoned. No, it doesn't count on saves. Ha, 15. 15. Uh, meets his beats. Oh, piss. Uh, you just managed to stave <laughs> off being blown away from this creature. Uh, so you're all okay. You literally oh, just managed to I hold on. I think because you're on the corner there, you're like, you've got your claws in there. <laughs> and, Ash, uh, and you've probably got alabaster in your head going, hold on, Ashling, hold on. That's pretty much all I can provide here. <laughs> <laughs> alabaster coming through with the wisdom there. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so you hold on to your footing and you are not knocked prone. Uh, that will... Uh, it's going to stay where it is because it likes that it's got most of you where it can see you. Um, let's make it the ghoul in front of rocks go. Uh, not intelligent creatures, gonna do the same thing it did before. Uh, it's going to roll two natural ones for both its attacks, so it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it falls over and cries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> does, it punch it, does it punch itself in the face? <laughs> I think it goes goes to kind of claw it and goes... <gasps> it smells its friend for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> does it put its arm up to do, to do a claw attack and just go... Oh. <laughs> 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 Love it. Brilliant. Uh, awesome. It will stay where it is, though. Uh, Rock, 
your go. Eugene, you will be the next player after the other Windy Whaler. Okay. Um, I am going to... I can spell for the first time. <laughs> I regret this. I regret this. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. I hate it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> with the spell rocks just like that. Oh, my God, Ashley. Is that your chicken foot that smells like that? No, oh, uh, she smells lovely. But it looks like it should. <laughs> um... Okay, so Rock, I think, is going to try something different. So Rock's going to move around here. Oh, no. Could I actually move myself to move around? Rock's going to move around here. Yep. Um, and, and I am going to use my psychic breath weapon. Ooh, nice. Um, and yeah, he's literally just sort of, you see him pause for a moment and then looks like he's sighing, but instead of sighing, you just hear, see these kind of waves would look like an almost silent sound waves come from his mouth. Um, and he they makes the king all... noise. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's, and they, uh, did I save on something? I can't remember. Yeah, dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw from these two chuckles. Uh, it's 15 foot, uh, cone for you, isn't it? Correct. Uh, one of them, uh, got a 17, so that's the one the closest to you. The one further away, uh, got a grand total of 13. Okay, so the 17 save, so they take half. Yep. I think so. Yes. Yeah, take half. Yes. Okay, so. Um... Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Ooh, eight. Six. And eight. Ooh, nice. Uh, 16 and 6 is 22 psychic damage. 22, so half for the first one. Uh, yeah, so 11 psychic damage. Still not looking happy with it. And. So 22, wasn't it? You Correct. Said, said the number, and it went in and then out again. Um, oh. uh, that ghoul, that the ice all breaks apart. There's this kind of ichor dripping from its nose where its, its brain is trying to get out of its head. It's staggering around. Uh, it looks like it would not take much more to take it down. Head and Rock's just like, oh my god, you are also deeply unpleasant. Um, and for my bonus action, I am going to throw my rapier in the air. Nice. And it is going to travel to this dude here. Cool. Big floating windy whaler. Would you like to drag your sword onto the find it I would um it's same yeah should be under sure. your summons it's here somewhere I'm just trying to yeah. there we go okay cool. got it um yeah so that will attack them amazing um and so that will be to hit it will be uh 17 17 will hit, yes. Awesome. So that's 17, and that is just a 1d8 plus 2, which is a 6 plus 2. So 8 points of piercing damage. Damage is damage. Um, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Well done. Uh, cool. It is the second Windy Whaler's turn. Eugene is up next. Um, what I will say, Wayne, though, is you do need to look at it to throw your blade at it. Yeah. So if I could have a quick 
uh, wisdom saving throw, bearing in mind you have advantage at the moment. Oh, that's good. Oh, cool. Uh, a, a wisdom saving throw, sorry. Yeah. One, so that's 17. 17, yes. You feel, as you kind of look at it, you kind of feel like this presence trying to push itself into your mind slips over your mental defences you're well trained in these sorts of things anyway uh, and the added bonus of Eugene's spell just creating a barrier it cannot penetrate uh, you, you're like oh, okay definitely don't look at that thing if you can help it meanwhile this one is going to bring things back into action and is going to target rock with a screeching wind blast one that you've seen it use on um, <laughs> both of your friends so far uh, that is a 16 to hit nope nope uh, cool Yep, that's fine. You kind of this wind kind of cuts around you, and you. I think you just bring your great sword up in front of your face to try to manage to hold on. You feel buffeted, but not damaged. Now I just grab the ghoul in front of me and use him as. <laughs> uh, awesome, uh, Eugene. You are up. Alrighty. Okay, we are gonna. Uh, go here and then I will cast a uh, thunder step and then reappear over here. Uh, amazing. It's five foot for one thunder step, isn't it? Yeah, so it will get uh, both of those. Cool, they both need constitution saving throws. Yeah, con saves. Con saves. Come up, you drink. And that is at fourth level. So. so the one on the left take, uh, is a grand total of 14, and the one on the right is seven. Nope. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. That's 28 thunder damage. 28 thunder damage. Uh, Eugene. Would you like to describe how you destroy these two creatures? Yes! It's a double well, kill! <laughs> I think he runs up kind of holding his nose. <laughs> 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 and uses his other hand for the somatic components. But uh, yeah, then uh, teleports and reappears on the other, safely on the other side of the room. And then when he leaves that space, there's just a massive boom of thunderous energy and I kind of imagine that they're not that kind of well put together at this point so they're just uh, kind of held together by ice and spike dis dissipated we are standing behind them I, I think... hope we don't get hit by <laughs> sucks to be you <laughs> I, Both, I think Rock is kind of just kind of coming back out of defending against this uh, whaler and it's just, it's just a shower of <laughs> defrosting ghoul bits go over his shoulder and actually you're defrosting ghoul bits <laughs> you're the one that melted and... him um and, and i disappear to the ethereal plane by the way oh nice don't fucking blame you <laughs> good because when i get my hands on you <laughs> um don't be stinky. i'm not gonna mark you up as there but do remind me um if i yeah. target you please um uh so <laughs> Yeah, so both Rock and Ashley are kind of like very close to these exploding ghouls. <laughs> oh. Rock's just like, Ashley, you've got a bit of... You know what, never mind. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to help. Uh, fine, you can spend the rest of the day with ghoul in your hair. <laughs> There's everything else in there. There might as well be ghoul in there. <laughs> Ashling, it is your turn. Um, oh god. And then there's a windy and then rock. <sighs> okay. Um oh, 
Uh, okay. Mm, yeah, what I will do then is, because I've still got some sorcery points left. Yeah. Yeah. I'll use my bonus action to convert one of those. Which means I get a spell slot back, is that right? Yeah, yep, you do. Yeah, one for one. So one for a first level spell slot. That's right, yeah. Mm. Look at you sorcering. I know, but it's not going to do the thing I want it to, so I take that back. Okay. Uh, Do you have... (laughs) One of the things like, if you have... How many sorcery points can you keep at the moment? Uh, I can keep four, and I've keep got two four. left. You've got two left. Have you got any warlock use... spell shots? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've still got spell slots. I just really wanted a portion. Well, your warlock spell slots are fifth level, aren't they? They're fourth. They're fourth. No, they're fourth. Okay, yeah. so you can use them to cast sorcerer spells. You're allowed to. Okay. Um, would that work? Would Dimension Door work at a different level? Uh, you can upcast yeah. it. I think Dimension Door's third level? It's fourth level. It's fourth level, yeah. So if yeah, got... okay, never mind. So if you've got yeah, a fourth level gonna... spell slot, you can... No, okay, you wanted something else for it. <laughs> I am out. I am out of fourth level spell slots. Okay. Because I have two. Um, okay, in that case, <clears throat> I will... Would going into the fairy fire thing do anything? Technically, uh, I don't think it does. I think it's just when it's cast, not when it kind of, not when you walk into it. It's not one of those spells that has that effect, I don't think. So it wouldn't give fuckos advantage on hitting me? No, no. Only if you got hit with it when it was cast. All right, cool. Okay, in which case, I'm going to just shimmy myself over here a wee bit. Mm-hmm. In fact, and... you, it's because it's your staff, you can just tell it to go away and drop that spell any time. Okay. Um, I... Oh, yeah, because no one, no one is alive who got actually hit by that. Yeah, so you can just drop the spell. Them. Okay, I mean, it's yeah, very I'll... pretty, but... It's very... It... I'm going to keep it just because it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sparkly, sparkly, dusty kind of glow here. Yeah. Uh, all right, and then I will, old faithful, just blast. Just blast. Blast this guy. Just blast. I, yeah, because I haven't used my bonus action, so I will use my bonus to. Do I need to use it again to keep my sword doing the thing that it's doing? No, no. It just once it's up, right, it's up. Yeah. Right. I will uh, just blast you, if you want to change what it's doing. Then you have to use one of its extra charges and then change it. No, I still want it to be defensive. So. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, cool. Uh, first hit, 27 to hit. 27 will hit. Yeah, yeah good. And, ooh, lovely. Uh, 10 damage on the first hit. Nice. And I'll oh, fuck it. Um, 14 to hit. 14 hits. What? Oh. Okay. They are, uh, what I will say though, is you do need to, at the end of this, you will need to roll uh, yeah. to look at them. But yeah, we can get yep. off those two hits. Uh, nine damage on the second one. Nine on the second. Yeah, uh, funnily enough, a big glowing target is actually easy to aim at. Um, <laughs> How does it look like the force damage is landing? Is well, it let's. Normal? Let's see what happens to you, see if you can coordinate that. It seemed... Oh, yeah, good yeah. point. Right, so it was a con save, is that right? It's a wisdom saving throw, which you get oh, advantage lovely. on. Advantage. Advantage. Because your genie has that spell. Oh, that was a, a nat 20 for a total of 29. Excellent. Nice. Ooh. Uh, again, you feel you feel the same thing, um, that creeping sort of something trying to get into your brain, trying to kind of take control. And uh, between the shield that Eugene has put up and your just sheer stubbornness, you push it out straight away. Uh, and I think you even hear um, Alabaster going, uh uh. <laughs> Fucking Norton antivirusing that thing yeah. out of there. No room in here. Um, yeah. 
you do see that your blast did land. It's hard to see because it's still very bright, but your, your hits, not only did they land really well, they seem to have done what you would expect a significant amount of damage. So there are cracks where it, it impacted. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Awesome. Yeah, just to, just to double check, Eugene confirmed these guys are undead, right? Yep. All right, cool. I was considering the idea of doing a hex, but I don't think there's any point. Uh, oh, because of the necrotic damage. Yes, necrotic damage. Necrotic probably won't do, but it would. Yeah, you're quite right. Um, I mean, not all, not all undead, um, <laughs> but uh, most undead are resistant yeah. to necrotic damage. I'll keep, I'll keep the spell slot. Yeah, because the bitch don't have many. <laughs> that is fair. Uh, cool. That will you make it like. that windy railer's turn, and he kind of it turns its attention. It kind of revolves this strange sort of moon shape. Uh, and that mouth opens up again, and oh, let's just, just check first of all. <gasps> you kind of see it start to glow even brighter. Uh, I would like both you and Rock. Uh, no, actually just you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. That's a uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, guidance. Uh, yeah. Guidance, so you can add a d4. Okay. Fuck it. Uh, she didn't fail, so you don't need to use that. Okay. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, so you take as yes, you do take damage. Uh, you take half of what this is, which is going to be halved again. Uh, yeah. So you halved is six, which means you'll take three. <laughs> a minor fucking scratch. And I've only just run out of temporary hit points. <laughs> uh, you feel that kind of gripping fear that it tried to kind of push into you and you saw it take hold of Eugene, but it, you shake it off. Mm. Okay, um, good. What happens with my poison status, by the way? Does that shit just gone. stay? That's gone. Oh. Sorry, I sh should have reminded Bye. you. Yeah, that's gone. It's only for okay. one round. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, so that was my fault. I think I mentioned it, but I didn't pick up on it again. So you might have done, but my brain didn't let it. Yeah, anything. there's a lot going on in this fight, to be fair. Uh, Pride month. I shouldn't have to think at all. <laughs> Quite right. Other people should think for you. Yeah. What this thing is going to do is, is going to drift away from this wretched sword. That's causing it problems and get. I thought you were going to say wretched smell. I know. Uh, and Rude. just focus down on the satyr and see if it can focus, get a beam on the dragonborn as well. Um, that will make it rocks go. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, this thing that's floating, can I reach it to attack it? How high up is it? It's not floating particularly high. It's literally just above the dais. You could hit it with a sword easy. Great. Okay. So the one that's nearest to me, I'm going to step back and I'm going to take an attack with my big sword. Sword. Um, which is a 23 to hit. 23 will hit. Uh... Okay. So I am going to four, five, six plus six. So it's twelve points of slashing damage. Nice. And I am going to divine smite. Go for it. Yes. Um, if I can find it. Spend. There we go. Um, yeah. So I am going to use a third level spell slot. Oh, you're serious about this. <laughs> um, so then I get lots of stuff. Hang on. God. Sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, so I think um, it's, it's, it's... Yeah, so it's 2d8 plus... Um, D6. 
additional one for each spell slot. So, so it'll be 5d8. No, eight. you're right, sorry, 4d8. Yeah, 4d8. 4d8. Um, 4d8 of up. radiant damage. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so 4 and 3 is 7. Could we do that one? 7 and 5 is 12. 13, 14, so 14 radiant damage on top of that. Cool. I didn't catch your actual physical damage at the start of it. Bollocks. Um, <laughs> it, it was, it's all D6, so I completely forgot. Uh, Shall I just roll it again? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, so Sorry. The, the, the Fang of the Bar one is 2D6 plus 6. Oh, no, it was 12. 12. Awesome. So that's yeah. a total of 26 damage, yes? Ooh. Yes. Of radiant. Uh, it definitely leaves a mark. Okay. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to throw my rapier at it. You get your rapier to rush into it. Yeah. Which will work. No, at the other one, sorry. Oh, the other one? Yeah, because you can fly 30 feet. <laughs> Guys, oh, oh, hang on, sorry, boss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one, sorry. Well, I'm a sword. I don't exactly have a. <laughs> I don't have eyes. Um, okay, so that is uh, 23 to hit. 23 will hit. And it is just. Oh, and it's 10 points of piercing damage. Nice. Um. Actually, here's a question. Does my dancing rapier count as a melee weapon? <laughs> That's a really good point. It, I mean, I divine sight it again. Not, not at, no, no. I feel like that. That's pushing the boundaries a little bit. It has to be, has to be something that has a direct conduit to you. I think that's fair only enough, fair. I suppose. I suppose that's fair. Much the same All way. All right, Chris, I'll allow it. As, as much <laughs> in the same way as if you were a barbarian, you couldn't add your rage damage to your dancing rapier. No, that's fine. I, don't know. I do um, okay. like I do like your play though. I mean, it's worth a thought. Um, and then, yeah, I can't really move without damage. So, yeah. So you know what? I'm just going to stand here and get in its face in between it and Ashling. <laughs> not touching. This. Not touching. <laughs> I mean, it's literally just a big face. So. It's not hard to get in its face, yeah. yeah. Uh, Rock's just like that. Oh my god, have a breath, Mint. Uh, Rock, I would like you to make a dexterity yeah. saving throw, as as would Ashling. As this thing Don't I also it. need to do a wisdom saving throw? You do, yes, but you do that at advantage. Okay, I'll do the wisdom one first. Uh, Ashley, I just thought something. No, you don't, because you can hit it with your eyes closed. Oh, yeah, because you've got, you've got okay. blind sight within I've 10 feet. Flying. Yes. Okay, so great. Well, that's out. good on that one. So when you're hitting, you're like, okay, I need to, and you're like, hang on, no. I can sense its thoughts. <laughs> like, I can't read it, but I know it's there, and you just strike it's like out. Luke, when you, when you know, put down right? the blast shields. <laughs> Use know. the force rock. Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerves. From a different plane. From a different plane, Eugene is yelling. <laughs> Who's the fourth? Yeah. Why, you, actually, you, yeah, you can't what? actually hear me, but I'm shouting it. Why, God, is, what force? why is he looking at it? He doesn't need to look at it anymore. <laughs> um, okay, and then I've got to do constitution, right? Yeah. Okay, oh, that's not great. Um, no, that's a five. A five. Uh, cool. And Ashley? It was a deck save, wasn't it? A deck save, sorry, not a... Uh... Oh. oh, no, that's much better, but still shit. Uh, so that would oh. be a 10. A 10. Still not enough, I'm afraid. <laughs> Mine's a 13. 13. Also not good enough. So, ah! both of you take uh, 18 points of cold damage. Both of you halve that down to 9. You are also both frightened. Oh, of this one down here. Which one, sorry? This one, one down here. I mean, one by rock. Um, Which so, and I, I only move okay. away from it on my next go, correct? That is right, yes. Okay. Um, 
Okay. Great. Cool. Uh, its breath is now overpowering me. I must escape. <laughs> At least this one is a bit fresher. It's not. It smells like dead people. Uh, Eugene. I smell dead people. I smell dead people. Um, I'm just going to give a little wave to Alabaster while I'm here on the ethereal plane. <laughs> so that, that thing with the, the uh, Umbrella it's, Academy. It's five. Yeah, it's five to six though. Yeah. Like... yeah. <laughs> uh, what did Eugene then... see though? Is Alabaster just like sitting there with his feet up reading a magazine? He's, no, he's leaning over um, Ashling's shoulder, kind of just like looking intently and then uh, like Eugene pops up and he's like <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love the visual of that so I know much. I love it um, Alabaster doing a double take and Eugene's just like that what I will give you though Eugene while you're there do you want to make a quick insight check sure what could possibly go wrong there um it's it's more narrative flair than it's not it's not gonna hurt you 12 12 Alabaster seems to have filled out a little bit since the last time you saw him. <laughs> he's he's hey. constantly just eating snacks. With, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before you saw him, he's all skin and bones and quite gangly. He actually looks like yeah. he has some muscle mass now. So. <laughs> Listen, oh, we all put on weight during the pandemic when we had to stay home, okay? <laughs> okay. Alabaster, okay. Alabaster got that COVID games. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's trapped in Ashling's head. He's got to do something. He's eating his feelings like I did. Okay, I am back on the material plane over there. Oh, and... nice of you to join us, you I was here the whole time, what do you mean? And oh, then... Nice. Yeah, you just can't see me. Um... I mean, why mess with the classics? Let's uh, fireball... Um, yes! This one. Awesome. Good choice, good choice, going for that one. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put you back. I cover you with ghoul pieces, but I'm not going to set you on fire. That's, okay. oh, That's where fair. I draw the line. Uh, it's nice that you have limits. So we'll cast that fourth level. Nice. Treat yourself. So that third dex save. Uh, 18. That is not a save. Sorry, I was counting. <laughs> it at once. Oh my god. Five, ten. It's 23 fire damage. Oh. Fire damage. Nice. We love to see it. Da, 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 da. 23, you say? Yes. Okie dokie. It definitely takes damage, but not quite as much as you would have expected. Boom. Fire for ghouls, not for windy waders. No. Although my force, um, Eldritch Force stuff did some nice. That seemed to hit. Yes. Magic. Awesome. Cool. Anything else? Did you have to use your bonus action to bring yourself back? Uh, no, I don't. I didn't. I just. It just happens. Um, I don't have anything to do with my bonus action as ever, wizards. Um, but I will roll to see if I disappear. And I do not, unfortunately. Not. I'm still there. You like? Damn it. <laughs> so you go at the moment while everyone, including the Windy Whalers, are all watching. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, he's not going anywhere. Okay, okay. great. Yeah. Well. Uh, Ashley, your go. Uh, you are frightened of the one near Rock, but the one nearer you, you are okay with. I'm chill with them. Thank you can't, you. Yeah, so you can't move towards this guy 
And if you yeah. make an attack against him, it is at disadvantage. That's fine. The plan is not to do that. So I'm going to come over here. And... Um... Yeah, get in between it and me. That's a good plan. <laughs> I like that plan. Stand there all brave-like. Um... Say to your thing. Say to your thing. I will use my bonus action to switch what my sword is doing. Cool. Because if it hits you, you want to like... hit it back. Yeah, yeah. It, um... Yeah. And that, is, does that still just count for melee attacks, or is it just any attack? Any attack. I, no, I think it's right, just cool. didn't say. Because for the Guiding Swarm one, it's just melee attacks that it will give disadvantage on. I think it's melee attacks for that as well. I think that was the intention. Uh, that would make sense, so I guess. Wait. Against the creature attacking me. Oh, yeah, melee attack. Yeah, yeah. fuck. All right. Um, no, I'll keep it as it is then. I'll keep it as defensive. Yeah. Because that is fine. Like it would be better. And then I'll just blast it because that seemed like it was doing Blast really him. Good. I'm a blast him. Gold, I will gold, use my gold. bonus to use one sorcerer point just to convert to another spell slot just in case because I've got a bonus hanging about anyway. Yeah, no worries. Uh, ooh. That's 29 to hit. 29 will hit. You I effective, so. effective people, you. Yeah. Uh, eight damage on the first one. Yep. Yeah. And 23 to hit. We'll hit. And uh, that was seven damage on the second one. Seven damage on the second one. So not a huge amount, but... Hey, it's, it's definitely taking, though, and it looks like it won't take much more of that. Mm. Cool. It is that Windy's go. Uh, they will try and blast you back. Rude. Oh. Uh, it is a 26 to hit. Yeah. That's too many noises. <laughs> <laughs> That's not one. Uh, 13 cold damage halved to 6. Uh, right. And I need you to make a strength saving throw, please. Strength. 14. 14? 14. Does not save, I'm afraid. Ah. You five, 10, you're moved back and uh, you are knocked prone. Oh, shite. So I'm frightened and prone. It's going well. Yeah. You're just cowering on the floor. You're frightened yes. of this oh, one God. and you're prone to this one. <laughs> Wonderful. Just throw yourself into a fetal position uh, on the floor. From where Eugene sits, you kind of see that gust of cold, icy air hit Ashling and she just literally goes, Wah! Um <laughs> That's the noise I produce as well. Yeah. So remind Wah. me, is it half your move to get up from the front? It is, yeah. Cool. But it doesn't, it's not an action or a bonus action to do that. No, 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 it's just part of your movement, so. Ah, it's fine, I can understand that. <laughs> she wasn't going to go far anyway. Yeah. Whilst I'm prone, they get advantage on attacks on me. Uh, melee attacks, but not ranged attacks. Oh. Um. They're not coming up and punching me, so it's fine. <laughs> Uh, not yet, anyway. Not yet, anyway, oh, yeah. Oh, God. Ugh, Sprouting little arms. <laughs> <laughs> like T-Rex arms. <laughs> They're like, like, it's like, like They basically oh. look like Modoc in a moon shoot. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the episode titled oh. Modoc in a moon shoot. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Wayne, it is Rock's go. Okay, so first of all, the um, my rapier, Chris, disappears because it's more than 30 feet away from me. So okay, it's so just... dropped after its attack. Technically, um, it clatters to the floor. Well, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. does that mean you've got to go pick it up? Ooh, yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to, but I should. Um, oh. <laughs> it'll come back at some point. <laughs> um, so I'm now frightened of this thing, so I am going to... <laughs> I think you just see Rock sort of double take at the thing he's just hit and then go, 
oh, fuck, 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 fuck. And he just runs in the opposite direction. Um, <laughs> and I'm literally going to run straight up to the other one <laughs> and smash it with my sword. <laughs> uh, it does get an attack of opportunity against you. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, it is a 19 to hit. Eight beats, so yeah, it hits. Okay, so you watch as this thing lashes out with one of the spiked ends of itself. Uh, of oh, itself, that sounds <laughs> yep. wrong. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so like, keep, it, keep your spiked ends to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you take 12 points of necrotic damage. Uh, and one point of cold damage, which unfortunately I can't round down for you. Okay. Well, well this paladin thing means getting hit quite a lot, anyway. Uh, um, <clears throat> yeah, so this kind of it kind of reaches out. It's kind of frost. You see frost uh, as as rock tries to spin, kind of forms over the armor and explodes ever so slightly, and then you can move away. Rock's just got like a cold headache. <laughs> um, Brain freeze. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to attack that one with my squad, um, which is a 21 to hit. 21 will hit. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay. So two D six. Actually, it's yeah. What do I get extra? Sorry, one D eight, I believe. Yeah. So yeah. Use one, one of the charges. Eight. You get one D eight extra. Yeah, so, ooh, that's good. So, seven and four is eleven? Yes, eleven. Eleven? Would you um, like to describe your kill? <laughs> yes, I think it's a bit like a Looney Tunes kill. Um, I think Rock just runs from the other one in abject fear <laughs> and then sees that one in front of him and it's like, oh, wait, I can just hit that one. Why? And just runs straight into it with his sword, with his sword. like just runs like <laughs> And it just disintegrates. And then he's standing there trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. <laughs> well, I think we all are. What does it look like when it dies? Uh, so you watch as Rock bleeds from this other one in magic terror and then kind of, as he gets about 5, 10, 15 paces away, he kind of sees the other one and just keeps keeps going and then just almost doesn't look as he kind of slashes down on this thing. He's not looking at any point in time um, and just smashes into it and it kind of crumbles in on itself like, uh, like a snow bank kind of collapsing under its own weight. Uh, and it's shrieking as it kind of collapses into dust onto the floor. Uh, do I need to roll anything because it's, because it's died? No. Okay, cool. It's one of the things that these creatures do not do. Good. Nice. Okay. Um, um, so that's my full movement of, of everything. So the only thing I have left is a bonus action. Um, which I can actually cast. Well, you're right next to where your rapier was. Oh, yeah. So I'll just pick up my rapier. Yep. Because otherwise, Ashton's going to moan at me about it. Littering. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I. Pick up your rapier. Uh, so I shall pick up my rapier and my bonus action. Um, and I can have it hobble with me. Cool. You, you, do you have to... You can reactivate it as many times as you want to, can't you? Oh, let me just check. I think I can. Or is it once per day? Um, uh, no, it just says in combat. Okay. Um, let me just check. I'll check. I'll check. Carry on. I'll check. No, it's not a problem. Uh, cool. Ash, da, 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 da. so uh, the last remaining Windy Whaler will look at the Dragonborn fleeing from it. Uh, and is going to blast him with some air for a 23 to hit. Twenty. Uh, so, Rock, you take. Oh, sorry, that was me. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I know you didn't, but he's like, he's been picking on you. 12 cold damage, halved to six. Okay. 
Uh, and I need you to make me a strength saving throw, please. How to put those muscles to work. Flex those muscles. Yeah, the strength is still not brilliant, but... It's better. <laughs> it's possible, <laughs> I think we would say. Well, average is 10. Yeah, so... Um, okay, so that's... Yeah, no, that's a 12. A 12, okay. So you, to add insult to injury, Rock picks up his rapier just as his blast of cold hits him in the back. You're moved five, ten, thrown over this sarcophagus type shape, crashing into the floor face down. Oh, oh! Ouch! Doesn't you do just hear you just hear a muffled voice yelling, "No, I'm fine." <laughs> <laughs> Me and Rock are floor buddies now. Um, okay, I lie there now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna I lie. sleep here now. <laughs> I took a nap. Eugene, it is your go. Ashling, you are on deck. Thank you. Okay. Okay, bear with. No worries. I am going to use... I'm going to use Benign Transposition to swap places with Ashling. Ooh. I can't move Ashling. I will move Mike's Ashling. still flopped on the floor somewhere else. <laughs> Yeah, you're yeah. just you're yeah. just dragged across the floor by a spectral hand. <laughs> <laughs> by one hoof. Yep. <laughs> this is very degrading. That Eugene hovers um, above you again. <laughs> I love that idea of Eugene just sort of hovering over Ashling in glorious radiant light as Ashling is dragged by a hoof along the floor, just going, Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. I just needed basically I needed a little magical slingshot to get me a little closer so I could get close enough because my movement wasn't enough. So sorry. Slingshot, you're But now it. you're further away. That's all right. Her blast got a range of like 120 or something. Yeah. Crazy. Well, yeah, no, I, I, I mean, it's a good thing. It's further away. My blast. Um, and I will cast a fifth level thunder wave. In its Ooh. general direction. Uh, amazing. Right, thunder wave in your general direction. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly how I imagined it being said. Thank you. Uh, it's a constitution saving throw from them. Oh, yeah. I, lo yeah. I love hearing Theo going for all the dice. Uh, it is 21. Oh, well, that saves. Boo. That's a lot of dice. That's we got, we got. 31 puffed. It takes damage, but not as much as you would expect. It um, would appear that these just... creatures are elementally resisted. Well, fuck them, because that's all I've got. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to check. I think if it's if, even if it saves, it's still pushed ten feet away from me. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, five. Bye. Ten. Oh, does that mean you're just out of the? No, Am I out or in? You're kind of touching at the minute. So if you have you got any movement left? <laughs> oh yeah, do you do you have any movement? Make yourself skinny. I don't yep. think so. I think I used it all together. Oh well. Yolo. Unless you're wrong. Oh, wait. I do, however, get to roll. I'm out. I'm out. I'm gone. Anyway. So Bye! It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> do you disappear? You're, do your you're popping disappearing again? Yeah. Yeah. 
pop up murders. I'm on the ethereal plane. Uh, oh, I think well, hanging out with Alabaster again. Yeah. Well, maybe you could get us a fridge back bit while you're there. Swole yeah. Alabaster. Yeah, jacked Alabaster. <laughs> Alabaster and Rock will be working out together. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ashling. <laughs> Face yeah, that's that's on your back, creatine. looking up at the <laughs> ceiling, have been dragged across the room. There's no dragging. We magically <laughs> changed places. There's no dragging. No, there was dragging. <laughs> yeah, there was. I imagine one of my horn tips just squeaking like a chair. <laughs> 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 and at that moment, everyone just watching the whole thing. <laughs> yep. the just I just oh, realised oh. it was absolutely unnecessary for me to uh, to swap places with you. I don't. I thought I had to change places with someone, but I can go to an unoccupied space. <laughs> cool. But it was cool. funny. Cool. That. That was funny. <laughs> but thank you for the visual because it was brilliant. Yeah, it's just a cheeky bit of flavour text. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think even the monster tells you, are, are, are you alright? Do you need a moment? <laughs> I'll stand up like an old woman uh, grunting. Oh, they're that? back. Oh, <laughs> oh. I'm not level four anymore. This stuff hits. <laughs> um, I'll, yeah, I'll use half my movement to fucking stand up. Cool. Uh, and yeah, my blast is 120 feet. Yep. That thing is less than 120 feet, right? Oh, very much so, I think. Yeah. 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 Okay, good, good, good. All right, just from where I am then, because I'm quite happy not being in the circle of hell, and I'm going to... You're uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for that very dignified exit from the circle of hell. <laughs> I will... Um, anything that I could do the bonus action that would be of any use right now because it feels I hate not using a bonus action when I've got it right there I know I rarely rarely can I use a bonus action mm. no okay all right yeah I'll just I'll just blast it fair enough we have the blasting um uh 16 to hit 16 will hit yes good awesome big glowing target yeah Ooh, 14 damage on that one. Ooh, that's really nice i know magical uh, blast damage 17 to hit will hit no no there's more than that it's 27 but hey hits uh and eight damage on that Eight damage. Uh, looking like it will not take another round of that. Excellent. We love to see it. Also, at the end of your turn, last turn, I should have said, Rock, take a make a wisdom saving throw. You still get advantage from Eugene's spell. Yeah, because you're in the circle. Okay, now. which is very good. Oh, that, that's a, the, uh, wisdom saving, yes? Yes, please. 14. 14. Uh, not quite enough, you're still frightened of this creature. Fine. Oh yeah, do I need to do that as well? You I'm do, at the end of your turn. Uh, okay, well that's the end of my turn. Yep. Okay. Uh, that was a, was that wisdom, did you say? Yes, please, yes. Yeah. I get... Uh, that is 16. 16? Yeah. You are no longer frightened of this creature. Which I'm actually, it's my fault. I should have made you roll those attacks with disadvantage because you were fighting the one that you're frightened of. But it's okay. I oh, yeah. my call. You're fine. Okay. Thank you. I should have remembered that as well, though. No, it's fine. Oh, that will make it. It's uh no, it's rocks go. Okay. Um. So I think Rock will will use half his um movement to stand up um and the other half to looking, complain about it looking a little embarrassed <laughs> okay, just a little mortified by the whole thing um and i think he's going to start moving here and then wants to go down towards this one but as soon as he looks at it he's like oh 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 no no um uh um 
Oh. And he's going to pull out his pistol and try and take a shot at that one because cool. he doesn't have to get anywhere near it for that. That's fine, yeah, but you... you I'm shooting with disadvantage, that's correct? That's right, yes. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's a 26. With disadvantage? Yeah, and that's a 15. 15 will hit. Oh, yes! Um, yeah, sorry, the first roll was 26 and then 15. Yep. Um, and that's a 1d10... No, that's an eight. Um, okay. And that's a six, eight, nine, nine points of piercing damage. Would you like to describe your kill? Um, I think it is very much just literally out of fear, kind of going, I have to do something, and then going, <clears throat> and kind of turning away because it's really scary. Um, so I don't think Rock actually sees what happens to it at all because he shoots and then turns away and hides because he's frightened of the thing. Uh, actually, from where you are, you see this little little hole appear and the cloud and smoke that's behind this creature suddenly stop and dim and it just falls to the floor. And as it does, it shatters into dust and disappears. It's a fucking nasty, arsenic horribleness. Congratulations, lovely people. You have solved my surprise combat. Ooh, that was horrifying. Cool, but scary and smelled and icky. Yeah, gross. The room yeah, falls all the things. silent around you, apart from the heavy breathing of your colleagues. I think what we'll do before we pick up on what your responses are to that is we will take a quick break yeah, let's uh, use our fantasy inhalers yeah and then <laughs> it. uh thank you very much for bearing with us through this <laughs> combat lovely people uh we will get back to thinking it's it's out out bearing with us like i'm so sorry that you had to watch these oh. three in combat i know it's dreadful That's, i know combat <laughs> is, as somebody who loves story sometimes <laughs> i find combat can go on quite a bit but our combat is fun though because we're <laughs> here. because uh eugene drags you across the floor <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm sorry that image is forever in my mind now it's so fucking brilliant good. It's true. Yeah. so good uh amazing right we should be back in about 10 minutes i'm gonna call that around five o'clock um we'll be back yeah. for then so right. whilst you can please and wayne would you like to take us into the break you sure <laughs> We'll uh, explain what we are looking at. Watch this. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our intermission Great. today is a new as a new video. If you, it will repeat several times. If you could, it's different organisations who do um, different organisations, charities, and support groups who provide services uh, for people within the LGBTQIA plus uh, community. Um, they're wonderful organizations uh please make note they're not only just there for uh, for you to support and to be aware of they're also there if anybody needs them please reach out to them they are there for you some of them are local to us here um and do work across the area that we're in and some of them are uk and us as well um including helplines so keep a lookout for the details that are on the screen yeah. Um, but we will also be sharing this information on our socials. So if you don't, or if you're not able to make a note or anything, we will have them in our socials this coming week. So please, if you need any of them, you can access all their details from those social posts as well. Fantastic. Thank you, Wayne. Uh, we'll be back at five o'clock. Go and grab a drink. Give a stretch. Uh, don't drag your um, don't Stay drag your across safeties the across the floor without their permission. Um. Never drag a safe. <laughs> that's it, Eugene. Eugene's spell is now. Anytime that Eugene does that spell, that's what happens. Yeah. Safe to drag. I'm going to cast Cannon. safe to drag. Safe to drag. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Wait, I think I've done safe to drag. <laughs> Happy Pride, everybody. See you in a little Happy bit. <laughs>
Okay, and we are back. Hello, Hi. lovely people. Um, I hope you had a wonderful break. Uh, that you all got something to drink. Uh, yes. Before our break, our trio of troublemakers faced down some horrible, horrible undead. Some really nasty, spooky boys. Uh, but prevailed, um, taking quite a bit of damage in the in the process. Uh, things calm down. Um, Eugene pops back into existence. Um, <laughs> uh, and you are in this strange large room, which Ashley has seen before. This is uh, one of the grave areas that you uncovered. Old news. Um, there are some Ashley. Actually, I will have you roll a perception check for me. Okie dokie. Just Ashling. <laughs> uh, well, you guys can all, I mean, if you're having a look around and kind of catching your breath, you can investigate or perceive if you wish. Yeah, I'll, I'll do an oh, investigation okay. around, I think. Mm -hmm. Ashling's DC is oh, ever so slightly. 27 of perceiving. Okay, well, you didn't even need the lower DC. Um, <laughs> could you been well, here you before? Go. Ooh. I investigated for an arbitrary rating of 18. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, 19. I like that. I, Plus two, I do a 23 investigate. A 23 All right, no need to show off, Eugene. Uh, bear with me one second. Hiccup has decided this exact moment that he wants to go out of the room. Was to leave, yes. <laughs> of Hiccup has places to be and people to yell at. The door's been <laughs> semi open the whole time. Now it's closed. He wants to leave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How uh, dare you close its door? Yeah, you slept through the whole first half, so... Right, so, uh, Ashling 23, Eugene 21, 27. 27, 23, and 18. All good. Um, for... Well, I'm going to say, we're going to start with... Uh, Rock, you can see by the defrosting marks around there, these have been in this room for a while. Uh, a good probably five or six days. Uh, there is no sign of them coming in artificially. It's almost like they were brought here inside this place deliberately. What, the sarcophagi? So can I use my investigation then to see if there is any signs of some kind of portal circle or anything? We'll come to that in a second. Um, Eugene, you got 23, and is that an investigate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see what Rock's looking at, and you're picking up that vibe. It's like, these things did not come... These things were bought here extra planarly. They were not... They did not come in on their own force. And as soon as Rock starts looking, you're like, exactly the same thing. And you start looking, uh, and you notice that a couple of the sarcophagi have been forced open. And you uh, can peer in and you see little tiny magic circles etched inside that are currently fading as if their spell has been broken. Uh, Ashley, someone has messed around with this room a lot. Three of the sarcophagi are open uh, that were not open before. Uh, two of which, as soon as you kind of get a glance around, you see that there are no bodies in, which probably were the ghouls. Uh, a third one doesn't look like it took. Uh, you notice the magic circles very quickly, particularly after Eugene starts getting to look at them more closely. And you also notice the two summoning circles, which are etched into the frame by the far door, which it leads ah. to the corridor where uh, Throne Shield's body was. Which is the direction we're sort of headed in. Which is right? the direction you're headed in. All of the circles are fading, as if the magic has been broken. And I think it... I think it... Rock and Ashling can pretty much surmise, and Eugene definitely knows, that's because these summoning circles were designed to raise these dead. About three days ago. 
five five days ago or so. Oh, five days ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How long has it been since I was here last? Uh, probably about a month or so. Oh, a fresh minute. Okay. Yeah, because you guys were in, you were in, you got back together, got yourself sorted out, flew out to, um. God, oh, lots happened since then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you flew out to the floating forest, and that's all taken place. And oh, were, you were in there for a good. Died. It was yeah. a whole thing. It was a whole ten days just trying to get. I Robert. died, you know. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Sorry. Secret. Uh, and then you've been resting up for about two weeks since then. So it's probably been a month, maybe two, since you were last at late like when you left Lady Will Farms behind. Okay. I'll point out the summoning circle on the door frame to these guys and be like, have you spotted um, them? They're going there. Am I able to away. get a look at it before it fades? You can, yeah. Make me arcana checks. Anyone who wants to try and work can out I, what they were. Can I rather help Eugene with an arcana check? Of course you can, yes. I don't feel like narratively I would I've be got any a help. 28. I'll, I'll stand behind Eugene and helpfully say things like, oh, what about that one there, the one you're looking at? Yes. <laughs> Even with Brock's help, uh, Eugene, you are very quickly and very easily surmised this is a version of the magic circle. Much smaller, much more compact, almost weaponized of the one that was used to summon the strange creature in the sewers. The one that was used to transfer, transform Mir. And the one that mm -hmm. they were trying to use on Ashling. This looks Ooh, like the work together. of the same wizard. So, so this was used to bring those things to life here, yeah, right? And then the two ghouls. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think it occurs to you that although the creatures summoned were of a different aspect, the way that they eventually collapsed very similar. The moons particularly crumbled into dust and ash. Do you know, I, I don't know if I'm right, but I feel like there's a theme somewhere. A little one, yeah. Um, so why didn't you tell us these things were here? Hey, right, okay, what? no, they, right, they weren't. None of these little fucking concrete coffins were even open, okay? So th this, these have been like forced open, and the creepy, stinky ones came out of them. They, none of this was like that when I was here. Well, what did you do? Did you set off a trap or something? It's always my fault. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I know. I'm only joking, but also okay. they really were smelly, and I've still got some of them oh, in my hair. Um, so bad. <clears throat> uh, why are we figuring this out? Eugene is, I you can see, know, is intent on studying these for a few minutes. Um, could, could, I'd like to have a sit, bit of a sit down because I'm really feeling a little unwell. I, I, I would also like to sit down, but I, 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 I think we should look for the other adventurer. What now? What, what, what if we encounter them and there's yes. another one of these things? Then, then we're dead, quite frankly. What if we're too late? Well, it's a pretty good bet that they're already stone. Yeah. Well, maybe, but anywhere. maybe not. I think, Ashen, you, you definitely think whatever happened here and whatever happened to the adventurers was about five days ago. Yeah, I think I was about to point that one out and sort of say, yeah, I think, well, you look how melty this stuff is and how long it's been hanging about. I think it's been a while. <laughs> what? It's melty! Did the daddies get melty like this? <laughs> I just want to right, check. If you come, if come, in, come in, observe, if you will, <laughs> the melties upon the daddies would indicate to me that it's been about five business days. So. <laughs> okay. Good, when did great. you get start getting all CSI? I know, but she's, now she's a fucking coroner. Hey, I bought a book the other day. Well, she nearly even just, read it on purpose. I just don't want to hang around too much. I mean, I, we keep sort of not doing 
things and then and then bad things happen like someone loses their head or or rock dies you know yes, so but I, if, just... if i don't have a just a tiny little bit of a risk now there's a good chance i'm going to die again Ashling's already putting down a bedroll for everyone to sit on to just be like I don't hey. think it works for short rest. No, but she just, it's comfy. It's comfy. <laughs> we don't need to have the plus whatever's, we can just have. All right. Is it, is it wedged in between two of the sarcophagi? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've made like a little sofa for us. <laughs> right, so Eugene, no. I get it. I think we need to do that first, otherwise, we'll add to the pile of deadies with our own personal selves. Look, as soon as we rested a little bit, we yeah. can go. Fine. Just like half an hour. I do half actually hour. really need a short rest. Look, we... <laughs> self-care first, or you are no good to anybody. Exactly. God, what Ashley and Alabaster have turned into a fucking cult leaders. <laughs> <laughs> we need to realign our crystals. Oh, I know what I'll do with your crystals in a minute, but... Um, <laughs> Right, so we're having a little short drift here. Yeah, he says, hopefully. Do we have any more of the, Do we still have some tasty baked goods on us that give us a I don't bit? think oh. you ate any of them. No, we oh, have ten food. loaves. I wrote, look, I made a note. <laughs> <gasps> oh I wrote down God. ten loaves. We have ten loaves. Ten loaves? What uh, do they do? I give you temporary hit points. Uh, 1d4 temporary hit points. Uh, so you can have those whilst you're healing and resting. Uh, I think yeah, some okay. of you can recover some spell slots. Um, Don't it ain't me. Nope. Or other class Don't features. Uh, but you can all spend hit dice as much as you need to heal up. <laughs> or drink any potions. Cool. Nice. Why you do... I think all of you are quite pensive and thoughtful at this point as although <laughs> I mean yeah and uh, the temple is I think Ashling last time you were here the temple was exciting and interesting and new and it and different and this time it feels somehow even larger but emptier just a little bit terrifying oh wonderful <clears throat> Ooh, nice. And four temporary hit points from Zuban. Nice. Okay. okay. Going right. Okay. 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 Are you feeling more alive now? Yes, I feel like perhaps I won't die of the next full hit on my person. Good. So, um, now through that door, which is where we're going, right? Oh, while we were short resting, could I have been casting Find Familiar, please? Absolutely, yeah. Um, Get your boy sorry. back. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, so Pocket reappears, looking a little annoyed um oh. like put out it's not not you kind of pat your hand as soon as you say sorry it's not you just the whole situation just frustrated um and then rock just looks pocket and it's like that i know right <laughs> <laughs> right so through that door mm. is where we're going to find what uh, it's where uh, it's where Throne's blade was. Wasn't yeah, it's a series right. of there's a series of passageways through that door, uh, and they lead down to where you found Throne Shield's body. Oh yeah, and uh, what looks like it was a resting place for somebody else. But I didn't see the somebody else. No, it was almost like something else happened, um, and the body was removed. And Throne Shield was. On a chair or something? Is that Sitting right? on the floor. It's too big. Sitting it was, on the floor. Yeah. Um, huge demonic skeleton just kind of folded in on itself. Yeah. Um, just looked like it. He had given up and just passed and it's, there. Is that where the 
the pillar was with the markings that we're looking at as a kind of possible map. No, you've already passed that. You already looked at yeah, that. Yeah, that's oh, way back we? at the entrance. Yeah. Oh, yes, we did, of course, because we <laughs> I did an etching. But was yeah. this the area where I sort of had to blast away some of the rock and see the inscription? Yeah. You, you found the inscription and you and Alabaster could see it that nobody else could have done. Um, almost like it was left for you. Okay. And that's where you found the door, which was really hard to find otherwise. Because it only opened for me, is that right? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Yeah, I will relay this information to my pals. Okay, so new hideous monsters aside, we're going to find Throne's Shield in there, and I hopefully... so, unless someone's moved him. Actually, that's a good point. Is that, Do you think there's any... Would they need Throne's Shield for anything? Would they have to... I mean, why would they have come back here? But he was quite dead. So I don't know what they would have done with that. <laughs> no, no, I, well, I, they I, are I, in the habit of re resurrecting things. Yeah, just saying. he's quite a, quite, a big, quite a big dead to be resurrecting. He's a huge daddy. A big daddy. Yes, which would be unpleasant for all of us. Also, yeah. it, but, but people do... It's a, there might be relics on Throne Shield, or perhaps the bones themselves have some kind of power, or... Oh, we're not going to know unless we go, so... Yeah, we, we, should, we should be feeling all right. We should probably just go, keep going. Go look. Also, oh, yes, yes, and keep a lookout for the fourth adventurer. Also, uh -huh. do we know how to... Can we bring them back, Eugene? Do you know how to do that? I tried. The only thing I can really do, which is, is dispel magic, but it, it didn't work. Mm. I okay. think we would Good. need something like a restoration spell. That I don't Is that something that maybe your uncle could do? Magic. No, I, I wouldn't think so. Okay, good, great. Uh, make a arcana check. Or a nature check. Uh, Ashling and Eugene, not rock, I'm afraid. Sorry. I can do nature. 24. 24. Uh, my nature was 21. 21. In discussions with Toby, you remember that Toby can oh, do it. yeah, Toby. Because you were talking about sickness and Toby directly said he wished he, uh, they had wished they had been there because they would have been able to help out straight away. Yeah, we could get Toby. Okay, so that, so if we can find them all intact then hopefully we can still save them. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming that Ash Ashley's been keeping like a little track of the map of where they've found each adventurer. Just so... Yeah. I mean, the first three so, were a, relatively... Knows where they all are. Yeah. B, if any of them feckin' move. <laughs> well, like that one in the doorway right now. Um, oh. No. Uh, they, they are... You've mapped out where they are on your, your pre-existing map. Um, they are the, the first three are actually fairly close together, um, and I think with that, because that in, that investigation role of, of yours was really high, um, to so I think what you do notice is there are actually footprints coming through here, as if someone retreated. It's all scuffed up now, uh, and the yeah. dust has been cleared away, but there are. Several feet have come through here, but it looks like somebody was running. There's a big drag mark through the middle of them. Yeah, there's, a, there's also a new <laughs> drag mark. Yep, 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 yep. I just got these pretty little shiny things. And that's why you have them. That's what they're for. Ah. <laughs> Protect the horns. Otherwise, you end up like rock. Protect your I'll have you know, this was damage that was done when I was saving someone's life, so don't, don't how about Dave. Right, should we move on and see if we can find out what's happening in the next mini really hillscape? just told Chris off in character. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> Ashing, you push open the stone doors to the next section, and it opens into... With my strength. Yeah, I'll do... Push. <laughs> over nice uh step through into this dark corridor that's very dimly lit by very ancient ever lanterns um 
dimly lit that it's a problem? Or? You can all see well enough uh, that yeah. you don't need to rely on dark vision or blind sight for yeah. it, but it's dim. Um, it uh, There's nobody in the corridor. It kind of goes around uh, in what you kind of assume is like a big square. And as soon as you sort of see it and Ashling starts describing where she found things and how she kind of blasted things away and, and you kind of there is a space here that was quite obviously always a room but before Ashling arrived it feels like they were directed away from the room in a lot of regards but both Eugene and Rock as soon as you step in you're like well it's obvious it's right there So, the, so this this room was was hidden. So sensibly, that means that there was something in there that whoever created it or whatever one that definitely didn't want anyone to find. So it was either protecting something or, I guess, or hiding something from people. Yeah. And one of those things was definitely your box. You found your box in the dais out the front. Oh yeah, because this was just hiding. This is all. Shield. Yeah, this is all new. This is all hiding throne shield. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, um, so the box was just like out about. But yeah, it was protecting the throne shield and the inscription thing that I found. So what is in this room now? Can I can. I have a look around. You're still yeah. in the corridor at the moment. Ashley oh, okay. needs to guide you to the entranceway. Come um, on, Ashley. I, I will. I will oh. step. I will step forward and say, "All right, just direct me. I'll go ahead." Oh, okay. I will. I'm I will just going to point my big sword forward and walk. What? No Ash more like that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Doo style. So heroic. Yeah. <laughs> so um. What are people's passive perceptions out of interest? Oh, 18. 13. 12. 12. Ashleen, you pick yeah. up on it first as you're kind of moving through these corridors at the back. A slight... <laughs> um... Everyone quick save. <laughs> From the shadows, from behind, there's a f sound as something flaps just out of sight, staying in the darkness. In the corridor behind us? Yep. You want to react to that or do you want to keep pressing forward? I will tell them. I uh, pause, 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 pause. There is something moving just behind us from where we just came from. Flittery, flittery, made a, like a little fucking laughy noise behind us. Uh, oh. Divine sense. You f out. Two fey entities the celestial that you're kind of expecting and just beyond at the edges and just as kind of almost teasing the edge of your senses infernal 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 different directions it's too many okay no i i feel like the, those little bastards are back what what what, the, what the, little bastards the, the little imp thing type things, the flabby infernal things that attacked us before. I feel like maybe oh, they're here. What? Oh, really? Well, something's flittering and it's definitely infernal. I don't think it takes Ashling much to kind of assume that something cackling like that and dancing around definitely sounds like Igus the Cackler. Damn it, they followed us. How'd they fucking find us here? <laughs> Do you think that's the conversation with Ashley going, well, I can hear like the cackling. And me going, 
Maybe. And that's, that's not giving you any clues as to who it is, yes? No, nothing? No, okay, okay, good. I'm, draw I'm drawing complex diagrams in my sketchbook. Who could it be? Out. Is it cotton? No! Who's <laughs> that <sad> Pokemon? <laughs> it's Pikachu! Uh, it's Pikachu laughing demonically. Ah. Well, okay, well, 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 we have to go Thank forward you, because... <laughs> We have to go forward because we can't. If we're going to go back, we're going to run into them. And just look, even your cat's voice. Um, we, we, so we, we may as well just go forward. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah forward it's, it's, yes. Any direction away from. Yeah. Okay. Go, 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 well, go, go, I have. Go, go, go. I hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure they're probably going to follow us if they know we're here. Go. There's a. You step forward and take a few steps forward. There's a fiendish presence in front of you, and then it's gone. And then there's one behind you. Rock will immediately, as soon as he senses that, will kind of go, Oh, no, they're definitely not just behind us. <clears throat> okay, tread very carefully, but we're going to keep moving. Ready? Come oh, around. but we're stuck in the corridor. I'm, I'm not a Marvel movie. I don't do corridor fights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a monk. Um... So you okay. go around one. I could get two of us out of the corridor. Cool, cool, well, I guess I'll see you back at your house then. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> you turn the corner and you're greeted by a similar passage. Uh, somebody has excavated away a few extra stones and things like that. They haven't done the best job. You kind of get the impression that whoever's been playing, mucking around down here, been doing a rush job. They took taken down uh, that freeze where you saw uh, the inscription about the alabaster throne has been com has been completely cleared. Okay. You can still see it. Your friends cannot see any writing up there. Can I notice it? Well, I, I think I'd try and point yeah. it out. And be like, right, so that was the bit that I had to blast away and then you can read it. So. Read what? The, the, that. You're gesturing at nothing. Are you feeling okay? Yes. No. Horrified. But yes. But you can't, can't see the writing. No, I can see the, the right here, like right there. I'm wall, gonna put my hand, like on it. Like, there, there's a letter there. No. No, there's nothing there. Although oh, I'm pretty there? sure this is a this is a you and Alabaster thing because if we can't see it, then you can, and we're in the place where you found Alabaster. I'm guessing it's to do with you two that you can. I think I will it. ask Alabaster, like, why is that a special thing just that we can see? Well, clearly, because we're amazing people. Well, yeah, obviously, but like, why, like, actually useful information? Why? Mm, magic. Okay, cool, right. I think your friends totally hit the nail on the head. This is something to do with the fact that whatever, whatever I was doing here when you found me, uh, this is part of the magic that held me there. You still can't remember now that, right? Nope. First thing I remember, saving a poor satyr who's dying. Yeah, all right, I get it. You did a good thing. <laughs> also, stopping myself from dying at the same time. So. Yeah. All right, I'll finish dungeon being. And... <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> we've gone so long without that. <laughs> yeah, what does right, the well, writing say, Ashling? Does it say yeah, eggs? Well. <laughs> what does it say? I swear to God, if you say it says Ashling was here, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> yeah, that was further back. Yes. Um, can you remind me of the exact words, please, Chris? Here lie. Uh, I, f I can't remember off the hand because I forgot to go back and watch that episode. But I think it was along the lines of uh, uh, "Here lies the chained king, ruler of the alabaster throne, servant of Erevis." Okay, if he didn't before, that's what it reads now. <laughs> <laughs> but that does. That, but it's that not actually about... here, right? It's throne shield that's here. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm just gonna look at Eugene. I'm, I'm gonna look, look at Eugene like this. <laughs> Gee, what else was here? Okay, now we, I don't even know what you're inferring. The box. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it wasn't here in this room, right? Actually, this isn't where you found no. it. No. No. But it, but was, the box, it was. There was nothing here. to try and protect that shit. It's just out. Oh, I had to get to the temple in the first place and get inside it and all that stuff, but... Oh yeah, just add out there, easy for anyone to grab. Um, okay, well let's push forward, but there are definitely things here, so I would brace yourselves for another fight. Oh, God. Nope, don't roll the dice. Don't, nope. nope. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and push forward a little bit, Chris, and just... Yeah. Again, that same thing. Cautiously, but I am going to move forward. You encounter. I don't think there's any point in stealthing. <laughs> you encounter that sensation of something fiendish just on the edge of your senses before it flits away, and then kind of coming at from different angles. And at one point, you look up and you feel it vanish. You almost yeah. swear you taste the brimstone of its magic. Ah. Can I have a blast just ready, just mm -hmm. in case I see one clearly? I will have a perception check off of your. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Eighteen for me. Eighteen, nice. I also got an eighteen. Ooh. Yay! I got a uh, uh, critical fail. Cool. I think One. that Ashley has that's a. That's for a total. That's a total of nine. Love that your critical fail is nearly wow. a ten. Like. Um, I feel like <laughs> Ashling is very distracted at the moment and probably mm -hmm. processing a lot of information. Uh, uh, also, I don't know if it has occurred to Charlie, but maybe it's occurred to Ashling is like there's another group of people who came here and have got hurt because of this place. What, uh, as in she's thinking it's her fault kind of thing? Or? I don't know if she's processing at that point, but this place does seem to, people involved with this place seem to get hurt. You nearly got killed. The researchers you were helping out did get killed, and then this has happened to these four adventurers. I think she, she's realising that, but rather than it being disheartening, it's almost making her, like, a bit determined angry, where she's mm -hmm. like, for fuck's sake, this can't keep carrying on. Yep. Like, You're calling this place off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wet floor signs everywhere. <laughs> Melty boys, careful. <laughs> Uh, 18 Rock and Eugene you both just out of the corner of your eyes see a small imp like creature dart and you both react uh, preparing to attack or defend yourself as it flits away actually your friends suddenly react to something they see and they both face different directions at exactly the same time It's over there. No, it's oh. over there. Oh, Maybe they're starting to really annoy me. Why do... Ooh. Okay. No, no, I, I can sense them in all sorts of different directions. I don't know what they're doing, but it's really starting to tick me off. Are they even actually back in there? Well, maybe it's just like one of those... Oh, they're definitely there, Rock. You're, mm. you're, you're getting used to your new senses, but they are. They see through things like illusions. Sorry, Theo, I interrupted you. No, it's fine. I actually don't remember what I was going to say. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's keep moving then, because they're obviously just going to annoy me to death. Okay. How much further is it until we get to the throne shield? It's well? really not that far. Uh, it's probably taking you longer because you've been so cautious and you keep getting interrupted by like these creatures just kind of off the edge. You come round a second corner and there is a large open stone doorway. Shouldn't be open though, should it? No. Wait, pause. That shouldn't be open. That shouldn't be open. <laughs> Like that. that was that was rude. Right. Well, I think it's pretty clear what whoever came here did. So, um, should we have a look inside then? 
I feel like this is a trap. <laughs> they've opened it to make us go in. No, they're, they've not attacked us yet. They know we're fucking here. Eugene, what do you suggest we go back? I know. Pocket tugs at your sleeve and looks down the corridor, determined. Perhaps, at least, at least no, Pocket has. What go up. happened last time? We don't Crazy have another life. hour to summon you. All spells. Oh no, I do have spells. <laughs> okay, fine. Pocket says he'll go look. Um, and he that, that's very brave. Runs down and he skits across. Pocket says he'll go. Pocket says he'll go. From yeah, we all life. heard it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, they're just starting to annoy us now. <laughs> <We're all cackling. laughs> We've gone past creepy. We're like, oh no, fuck this shit. Shut the fuck up. Uh, Pocket darts down to the edge of that doorway and kind of pokes his head cautiously around. Uh, and he makes a jump and it kind of motions to his head a little bit. Paul. Yeah, can I use my pocket vision? Pocket vision engage. Your pocket can. Um, yeah. You dive into pocket, uh, and pocket is leaning around the corner. You are faced by a large open room. In the middle of it is a statue of an elven woman holding up her hands like this. Well, fuck. With a mace and shield. Can't see anything else in there. Not at the moment, but there is that cackling and giggling coming from that room. Okay, I'm just going to try and ignore that and go in a bit further. Okay. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw for Pocket, please. Uh, oh, sorry, one second. I just need to get. Uh, no, it's not a problem. Get character sheet. Uh, that's a uh, fourteen. Fourteen. A uh, stone nearly hits him, and then lots of little tiny pieces of masonry start like being thrown from the shadows at the top. Uh, wow. And there's that cackling gets louder and louder. They're just lobbing rocks at him. Yep. It's mean. He's just a little guy. He is just, just a little a guy. Small boy. This is a nasty, um, nasty thing. If I if I look around as pocket, do I see like in that direction? Do I see anything? You catch that very similar visage of small, impish, but there's definitely more than one of them in there. I agree with Rooney. It's time to fireball the room. Is uh, Throne Shield in there? Not that you can see, but he can't get a good look around the whole room at the moment. He's do too busy dodging. He mm -hmm. does have a very clear vision on that elven statue, though. Uh, eventually he's pushed back out of the room by these uh, and the cackling and there's this jeering laughter that comes from inside the room that you can all hear okay i will come back to eugene senses um pocket kind of so runs back up up your leg and just kind of <laughs> so you were right about the trap thing actually yeah, there was a whole bunch of rocks and stuff. What was there? Did you see throne shield or any, anything else? Well, not really, but that doesn't mean that they're not there. I, it was hard to kind of get a good view of everything. I mean, he's he's not very high from the, the ground as a rat. Um, and also there was a lot of rocks being thrown. Um, but there's definitely a cackler in there and... and more than one or him and other similar things oh what yeah. what can we what can we what, do we it, need to go in there or vital, can we just leave? i'm just gonna say it's <laughs> vital that we do go in there guys <laughs> well we kind of need to know if throne shield is in there don't we so that is 
definitely the body of that, that oh, mural. Yeah. yeah, what happened to you? We have to save the other adventurer. Now you just want to head home. <laughs> that was Eugene, not Theo. Theo's got a five second goldfish memory. <laughs> Yeah, we are going to need to go in there to, to uh, get the other adventurer who is also in there. Okay. Okay. Well, look, we've beat him several times before, right? Yes, although it does feel like there's quite a few of them, so... And they seem to be coming back more and more with every time we beat them. But... Anyway, even, well, we have to go in. There, we have nothing we can do for her because what are we going to do? Drag like a two ton statue out there. Well, yeah, but we can't send Toby in there when there's a room full of fiends. No, but at least if How we are have he Toby supposed to save her? I don't know. What if we go, go get Toby, and all those fuckers have respawned in there again and we have to do it all over again? Yeah, but what if we exactly. go and so they destroy to... the adventurer while Take we're going? it now. Ashley. Hey. No. Ashley. Don't oh. you want to finish this? Ooh. You guys can hear that, right? Yeah, they can hear it. Yep, it's just as annoying as the rest of it. It's a trap. Um, like, it won't finish anything, because all we'll do is get rid of more of these little dickheads that keep coming back. Yes, but if we get rid of them right now, we can probably get Toby here to save the adventurers. Chris, can I ask the room that we are heading into, how big is it? Uh, well, Eugene can tell you. It's probably, I'd say... Is it fireball size, or is it like... <laughs> I don't know that fireball is going to be much use again. Probably well, about. No, fire, I'm only kidding, but it's how big is it? Oh, and Ashton can tell you, it's about 25, 30 foot, like, uh, diameter room. Okay, and I height could... wise as well? Goes quite up, quite high. And, sorry, last thing, where is the, the adventurer statue? Right in the middle of the room, down a passage, like a bit of a length leading up to what is a dais where the body should have been. Okay, so mechanical question, because would I be able to, with it being a tall room, whatever, would I be able to position um, Shatter so that it doesn't hit the statue in any way? How wide is Shatter? Ten foot. Ten foot. Yes, there is enough room to cast Shatter. You would need to be very careful, because it would do double damage to Meryl in her current form. Yeah. Okay. I could so I'm just. Ice storm in there. Would that damage the statue, the the adventure? I don't know. Would it? Stone. Ice doesn't really do much to that. It does do bludgeoning damage, but it's mostly cold damage. It's only a little bludgeoning. <laughs> Can we remember how they responded to ice damage or cold damage before? Uh, no, I don't think you've ever used cold damage to my recollection. I think you blasted them with force damage before. Did they not try and get me while I had Agatha's armor on, though? Mm, no, I think the second time you encountered them, you hadn't started using armor of Agathis. They let them. Remember, they let the Merigon fight you directly and just stood off to one side. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Rock shot another, them. Here's um, another question, Chris. Would the statue ca uh, count as a creature? <laughs> no. The adventurer? No. Whilst they are in this form, they count as an object. Okay. I love that um, rule in d d It's so silly. <laughs> <laughs> You're now an object. <laughs> You're dead. You're an object. <laughs> I'm sorry about object. it. <laughs> yeah. Creatures only get to vote on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but look, I can, I can cast... I could cast Shatter so that it probably wouldn't hit the adventurer, but would get probably, hopefully, maybe some of these things in there. But it's literally a shot in the dark. But once we do that, then it's it's on. I think that's a risky strategy. 
What if you blast apart the okay, I have a you... terrible I... suggestion that might be an option. Is that about the group chat? You guys, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. you guys were still connected. Like, is he still in a group chat? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Cool. cool. Um, it's it's risky, but you could literally walk in and talk to them and find out what. Well, we know what they want, but see if we can get a better lay of the land once we know what we're dealing with. You know what? That's actually a, a very sensible suggestion. I was going to go in there and yell at them. Oh, I mean, there should be plenty of yelling. And, and, uh, let's start. With, let's start with the talking, and we'll move to the yelling. How's that? They, it's the opposite way I normally do it, but okay. They've gone to okay. a lot of effort to talk to the three of you. I wouldn't call it talking. They're just annoying. Mm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, like I said a minute ago, though, they've known we've been here for ages, and they've not attacked us. They've just been freaking us out. Yes, true. Okay, right. Um. Shall I then? Yep. Ashling will walk forwards as well. Just getting sick of it. She's got a um, blast ready though, just in case they pop off. Chris, I am going to. He says using up all these spells, but I'm going to cast enhance ability on myself. Ooh, what are you enhancing? Uh, charisma. Charisma. Biceps. Nice. Enhance um, biceps. Yep. <laughs> I'm going, go enlarge, I'm, I'm going to enlarge. I'm going to cast it enlarge, but just on the one bite. Cool. Just um, yeah, just one. And I'm just going to very confidently stride into the room um, and just say, oh, don't throw anything. We just want to have a conversation. Are the others following you in? Yeah, I'm, I'm in at the same yeah. time. Okay. You walk into this long long tall room that opens up into like a like a circular area with a dais in the middle sitting on the middle of that is the uh, elf woman as i described and sitting on her shoulders just gently scratching but not doing any damage yet is a very familiar broad grinned imp so they have come at last well, you could have just invited us if we were supposed to be here earlier. Now, would you mind coming over here and having a conversation? No, I will talk to you from here. Don't oh. scratch it. You're going to do that. Look, this is not a great way to start a conversation. If we're going to be, have some mutual respect. Why, why don't you come over here? I'll come forward as well so we can both meet in the middle and we can have a conversation. How about that? We want the box. And we are prepared to give you this adventurer for it. Look, that's really not quite that easy for us. So, look, I, I know that you, you have this contract and everything. I know it's a lot to handle, but we've had a lot going on as well. So we would just like to have a conversation about why you need the box, and then we can make an educated guess about whether it's worth us giving you the box. <laughs> make an insight check, please, um, all of you. Yeah. 16. Sake. Run out of good rolls. <sighs> got a one again, but still a nine. Okay. <laughs> I actually got a, a dirty 20. Nice. What? That's wisdom. Eugene, it you it's not a wisdom saving throw, though. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just a wisdom. Um, <laughs> Eugene picks up on this. At the mention of contract, uh, that evil grin slips into a like a wicked snarl for a second. Just a second, and they regain their posture. Contract, contract, contract. Punish Igus for the contract. Summoned by some stupid lovelorn wizard. Forced to do things for others. Igus will not work for others anymore. Wait, I, I, Igus, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt you, but did you just say a, a lovelorn wizard? Are you... You're talking about, what was his name, Pyron Thingy-Majig? Speak not the mortal's name. I'm terribly sorry, I didn't mean to offend I you. We really... Called it. We really don't like him <laughs> either, he's really annoying. Um, what has he done to you? Oh, do, won't you just come down, have a sit with me, and we can have the conversation. Perhaps we can help you. Make a persuasion check. You only I make help. it as standard. 
because you're her? operating at disadvantage. Okay. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no, it is with that plus. Um, that's 25. It's very, very good. And I think, Eugene, you pick up for a min minute. He even thinks about taking you up on the offer. No. No more tricks, no more lies. We will take the box from your dead hands. And you suddenly Wait. hear flittering from all over. And all of these different versions of Igif fly down, swarming around. And they form into this cloudy mass, like a giant imp. No. And that's where we're going to end today's episode. Oh, <laughs> oh God damn it. Um, Form of Ultron. I told you. <laughs> I told you it wasn't just going to be the annoying little imp again. Oh, damn them. The mighty morphing imps. Mighty morphing imps. Uh, uh, amazing. This has been a lot of fun. A lot of creepy fun. Uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, I'm going to put us onto some cheerful music. Uh, I hope everyone has had fun and they are enjoying themselves, uh, having a lovely weekend. Uh, we'll leave you with this mass of uh, swarm of imps to deal with next. Swarm of imps and fuck all spell slots. <laughs> next week. There you go. There's the album. There's the um, episode title. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> Swarm of imps and fuck all spell slots. There you go. <laughs> uh, did you not get back your spell slots for your short rest? Yeah, you should have. You're you should, a warlock. You should have got two, at least two spell slots back. It's literally what, the best thing about being a warlock. Level. Well, your spell slots uh, for warlock are just what they are. I did a short rest and then come back. I'll have a look. I'll have yeah, a look. your warlock spell slots should have come back. So if they haven't, make sure you, you unmark those two at least. I'm going to give me them back. Yeah, because you deserve you deserve those. That's, that's what you get. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. yourself. Go on. Um, it's Pride Month. It Have is a Pride cheeky Pride spell month. slot. Have a cheeky spell slot on us. Get yourself uh, make sure it's oh, make yeah. sure your spell slot is rainbow coloured because it is Pride Month. Oh yeah, we just <laughs> rainbow wash everything. Must. Done that. Uh, we will be back next week uh, with our next episode and the. Uh, conclusion of this little escapade um we have been some of the heroes uh we love you very much for being back uh i will hand over to my friends who can tell you where they can be found what they've got going on and um yeah how you can support them and we're going to start today with charlie moi um you can find all my stuff at charlievince.com um that's got my portfolio and link to my instagram which is pretty much my only social media at the moment uh i've put some cool new pictures up on my instagram recently just oh yeah just very cool things i've been drawing which have been fun oh, garnet. Um, oh yeah garnet yeah oh, oh, if I anyone else is also deeply in love with garnet from steven universe <laughs> and i did a drawing of her that i'm really happy with like an 80s vibe drawing of her it's, it's um, perfect wait, yeah. why haven't i seen this haven't you oh yeah, you're been... very cool algorithm you oh, have right. been busy yeah, you have a phobic algorithm. I'm literally Me and Theo have been busy right going now. to see the Buffy stage show, which was fucking hilarious. Oh, did you? Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, my God, it was so funny. It was so good. Yeah, shout out to Buffy Revamped, if anyone is into Buffy. <laughs> it was really funny. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Hi, Mum. Love you, Mum. Hi, Hi Charlie's Mum. Mum, I spent the weekend around Mum this weekend, and we bought pretty much everything in every charity shop so we had a great weekend <laughs> sounds good it. very good for me thanks uh, everyone for coming amazing. along this has been well fun cool thank you so much wayne would you like to go next please Sure. Um, yeah, thank you, everybody. And again, please do uh, do what you can uh, for Pride Month. But um, as I say, we encourage you to take action in whatever way that you can. Um, because it kind of really matters right now um, and for some people it is literally a matter of life and death um, and I think people forget that sometimes even us yeah. so um, 
yes, that's what I'm asking. Uh, thank you. You can find me on the interwebs. Um, my new uh, initiative uh, called Created by Wayne. You can find me at createdbywayne.com or on the socials at Created by Wayne or even on YouTube at Created by Wayne. Um, so I would appreciate your support and do come along and say hi and give me the likes and the waves and the thumbs up because that would be really nice to not be shouting Smash into the like social button. media void. Can I can I just congratulate Wayne on breaking 200 followers on YouTube? Uh, Ooh, boop, boop, boop. Well it's done. really, really good. It's doing so. Yeah, it was, it's it's just good. Weird. It's hard to like gather up followers on YouTube. Yeah. Well, it's it's you know it's just one of those things. Just doing it kind of slowly and not you know doing a hundred things a day, just doing one video a week and stuff. But it's um, yeah, it's been nice. It's 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 getting there. It's getting there. But yes, thank you. Um, and that's all. Otherwise, be be gay, do crime. Be gay, do crime. Eat the rich. Stonewall was a riot. Someone was a riot, no person stories. Um, Welcome to our radical left wing team. <laughs> <laughs> Theo, are you ready? Are you are you good to go? Do you, need, do you need some cat time? Someone do you, no, they're always oh, look at their face. Oh, look at them. Oh my god. Ah, dear. Oh, we, that's our content next episode. Uh, <laughs> just gonna get all we the. We need to do a super cut of Theo and Kitty Cuddle. Look at his belly. Look um, at his belly. Anyway, sorry. Look, he's embarrassed no, now. He's showing his belly. Just wants to cause chaos. He's trying to eat my dice. Um, <laughs> He'll regret it. He will. I'll regret it because I'll. Have, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, um, all of very there. painful D four. Anyway, so you can find my stuff on the internet uh, at theobluillustration.com if you want to see my work and stuff. Um, yeah, it's all there. You can find all the places, other places you can find me on the internet, on social media and stuff. Um, in the meantime, I'll be here at this desk uh, writing a book. <laughs> Which is going really well. It, even and every few small. weeks I might even leave the house. So, Ooh, careful. That, yeah. We're going to drag you out like like your spell did today. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come like this in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come and grab you by one hoof and drag you down for coffee. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, amazing. Prize my apple pencil from my <laughs> clawed <laughs> shriveled fingers. <laughs> your little chicken foot holding on. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Uh, I'd like I'd like to object to the <laughs> mage hand. As rules as written, it is a hand. Uh, not a but foot. unfortunately, we do play rules of cool first over here. <laughs> that's not cool. That's the opposite of cool. <laughs> what if it got a pedicure? Then it would be cool. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that would be was... distinctly less cool. What if it got big stiletto. There is no it. way to make this any. Literally less weird before we go on screen and i said oh it's it's disgusting and and charlie said as if it made it all right oh no but it'll have a nice little french mani (laughs) great that's just really long acrylics with like a little charm that's no worse oh my god that's That's just worse you've made it worse should i move on (laughs) yeah i'm gonna move on (laughs) yeah I know what I'm drawing tonight. Just leaves me uh, and that nightmare (laughs) fuel. Um, I am Chris Mepham RPG, wherever your media is social. You can also find me on YouTube uh, where you can see some of my sketches. Uh, I do have some soft slots open for any character commissions that people would like. Check out my stuff on Instagram, see what you think. And if it's something that interests you, get in touch. Um... Yeah, beyond that, I'm here doing stuff for some other heroes in the background. Uh, if it's it's uh, if it sounds like it's me, it's probably me. Uh, if not, it's probably one of these three. Um, but uh, we're we're around. Mostly and Chris. Um, but yes, we will get you some more information about Wicked Week. Uh, we will keep you posted on the socials as to what we are up to. Uh, in the meantime, have a lovely week ahead. Enjoy the sun whilst we've got it, and we will see you next Sunday. Happy Pride, you you lovely, lovely people.
We love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.